All right. But enough about Breath of the Wild. You know, Breath of the Wild's fun and all. Breath of the Wild's cool and all. Breath of the Wild's fun, funky, and hip. But, you know, as the only person in the entire Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass category, I think we need to actually start streaming Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> as the only person in all of Twitch that is actually streaming this game. Which is hilarious because, I mean, it proves my point that, dude, I'm telling you, nobody, nobody, it, people have forgotten this game. Um, let's get into Phantom Hourglass. It's a good game, by the way. Top of the charts. He's the number one streamer. Oh, also, uh, let me, let me do this. Um... Have a little time over here. Um, actually, I'll have a little. I'll put it in the bottom right corner. All right. You want to know how weird this is too? All right. So I've actually I've I've done something like this, right? Uh, uh I want to. The the game is mainly like stylus based and everything. Um, and it's really difficult. I know there's some sections where it uses both screens. Um, specifically, um, I, I have a new scene that does this, right? So you guys can still see like the scenes that we use, uh, that, that, you know, like, sorry, so you can still see the, like the, the, the two, you know, like the double, um, for like the top bottom when you can, um, it's bottom screen for the most of the time, but sometimes you need the top screen and the bottom screen together. Flick! Uh, oh, I just saw the tier three. Sorry. Um, Critical Kip, thanks for the two months. Podmaster for the six. six. Um, and Kuru, thanks for the 20 months. And also, thank you so much for being amazing. Um, okay. Now, let's let's get to it. Oh, also, um, uh, there's... there's um, <laughs> I know there's feedback and crackling. You got to deal with it, all right? Um, uh, I just... like it, I can't fix it. It's been like this for like a fucking year, all right? I can't do anything about it. Um, okay. So this is the Wii U. Let me show you guys how I'm playing this. Because you see it like this. Um, I'm playing it like this. So I'll be... <laughs> I'll be playing it like this. You know? Um, and all. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Anyways, any quest tours in chat? Any, 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 uh, uh, any quest tours? Okay. Oh, it, it put my name first. Okay. Um, I'll put Eric, because that's my name. Is this name okay? It is, yes. Do you hold the stylus in your right or left hand? Right hand. Um, do you, you you use your right hand? I do use my right hand. Okay, here we go. Uh, quest two. Let's get it. And start. Adventure. Our story begins not too long ago. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas, and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was brave, brash, and brave. She was also part of the Straw Hat Pirates. All right, Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day on a stop at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. This is Wind Waker. Oh, no, no, it's not Wind Waker. It is Wind... Wait, I forget. Yeah, yeah, it is Wind Waker. Yeah. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. This is uh, the plot of Wind Waker, by the way. <laughs> she was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. This is a direct sequel to Wind Waker. You didn't know that. Just then, a huge, ominous king appeared. 
You carried Princess Zelda away. The evil king sought the sacred power passed down the Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. <laughs> the boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, uh, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. So what did you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Did you really guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Eric, are you sleeping, Swabby? Wait, wait, should I, should I have it as Link? I should probably have it as Link, right? It's going to be weird to say Eric the entire time. <laughs> Let me change it to Link real quick. How do I... How do I, how do I... <laughs> okay, close software. <laughs> I just realized, I was just like, oh, God. It was fucking weird. Like, I was like, oh, that was weird. It was like a knee-jerk reaction. Okay, it's loading, by the way. We we noises. Okay. We you noises. This is cool, cool, cool. Game. Oh fuck! Wait, how do I how do I go back to the shit? How do I go back to the? It's it's at the suspended point. How do I how do I go back to? How do I go back? I closed the game and I reopened, but it was like suspended suspended point. ZR. Reset. There we go. Oh, this is oh, okay. Here we go. Wait, wait. This look, look at the use. Look, look at this. Should, like 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 give like like that like like a small like break of like how it's supposed to be so it's, it's not like cursed you know let me, let me let me do it again i should be doing this okay <laughs> i should be actually like playing the game we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna do this i won't perfect this oh that's so much better that's good, right? Wait, 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 we'll see, we'll see. It's better. All right, it's doable. That's that's good, right? It 
it, like it's not perfect on the DS. It's, it's not perfect here either, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 good enough. Okay. Akago, thanks for the two months, Mate uh, Mateus. Thanks for the uh, four months, Dest of Worlds. Thanks for the two, uh, and Sharkboy. Thanks for the Prime. Hey, Abby, can you help me adjust OBS real quick? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I hate the Wii U. The Wii U sucks. Do you know how to... Do, let, me, let me punch my capture card real quick. Punch it? Well, I'm going to punch it and fix the crackle. It's not going to change anything if you change the brightness on here. No, 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 I know, but like, can you change the brightness on OBS? Yeah, I can try. Oh, here I got Here's it. Here's Disco Stick. Thank you so much. Guys, did it work? <laughs> it looks so crusty on stage. Why did you do that one? <laughs> Why did you click that one? I don't know. Is there a color key? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work. Wait, how do Guys, I? Guys, we're just eating, we're eating snap, crackle, pop cereal next to the mic, not the game. Zelda. <laughs> Zelda. Zelda. Wait, how do I chat? How do I? How do I? How do I like do this? Art. Apply light. Do you actually think so? Okay. I don't. Okay, okay. How do you do that? I, I don't want to touch. Oh, yeah. Why is it so slow? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Here, you take the Wii U. Uh... I don't know if that helps. Oh, oh, that is a screen brightness. Wait, did that help? Well, I mean, like, you. Oh, you want me to go? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back to the. I don't think that's gonna change. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, but like, turn, turn it down. No, why would turning on this? <laughs> why would turning on the screen brightness on the Wii U actually I mean, make it brighter? It that's that. not how that works. I mean, you're capturing it from that. I feel like this isn't working very well. Shut it. <laughs> it's great. Okay, it is. These are effects. It's going filters. amazing. Oh, okay, Don't okay. Don't worry. What about? Oh wait, no, there's the audio. All right, wait, wait. So what if I do this? Okay. No, wait, no. That's that's that's. Let's for green screen. Permission to panic? No, you cannot panic. No panicking. Turning the monitor brightness is not gonna fix it. It's not on your <laughs> side. Oh, I can like. Ew. I can make it saturated. Dank. Uh. I don't here. know, but it's not like bad. It's just like a little. This screen though looks crusty as shit. Is it really? <laughs> like it looks dark. It, it looks. It looks dark. Is that it's dark? It's not like bad. It's just like a little bit. I don't know how to like how do you how do you like brighten it up? Yeah, it's not bad, it's just Like what what is the Which plays the game settings? Okay. Yeah, we did the color correction on the company thing. Uh, color correction? Yeah. It's fine to me. I'm... It's not like terrible, it's just a little bit like the game's really bright and pretty and it looks nice. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's
like that. that that's probably fine. Hey, chat, that's very slightly better. It does look better. What's her at? <laughs> Stop. That's Abby Bagel. Abby underscore Bagel on Twitter. Follow me. I'm funnier than Eric and the reason that he streams and has a career. Get the fuck out of here. You're welcome. Have fun, Dad. No crackles? Yeah, it's no crackles because I literally, like, threw my capture card. <laughs> like, I kid you not, I literally tossed my capture card, like, <laughs> like across the... It doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, new game. Uh, let's name Link. Sorry about that, guys. Right hand. There it is. Capital L. You guys are the worst. I've been a fan since I was like seven. <laughs> Considering that I've only been streaming for three years, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to be on Twitch. <laughs> All right, Link, how about that? We could go, like, we could do the my dude, you know, but I'll go with Link. <laughs> All right, fine. How many, how many, how many new, like... <laughs> What's up, my guy? Do we, okay, chat, do I do? Do I do, okay, no Pep, Pepe W? Fine, fine, all right, you know what, fuck it. You know what? This is stupid. This is so stupid. We're choosing Link, I don't care. This is this is a mess. This is so dumb. We're gonna just choose Link because it's just the best, it's the easiest one, all right? Me a coward, you fucking imbeciles. Money Hoop, thanks for the five months. Waterstorm, thanks for the four months. Trip Disco Stick, thanks for the five gifted subs. Leaf a family, and thanks for the prime gaming. Akago, thanks for the two months. Thank you. That's what you get, guys. The timer. Oh, I fucking. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh. Took 14 minutes to make a name. It's taking us 41 minutes to start the game. But you know what? That's a stream. Dr. Todd, thanks for the 200 bits. Has he ever played Spirit Tracks? I've not played Spirit Tracks ever, no. The Crackle's back? Well, I hope Snap and Pop joined in, you know? I, can't, I literally can't fix it. I, I literally can't. Is it, how bad is the crackle? I did nothing. You saw me. I've done nothing. <laughs> I did literally nothing to change it.
Okay, what did you think about my amazing paper cutouts? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? Link! Link! Hey, what's up, Tetra? Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on lookout. <laughs> He's a mood. He's a mood and a half. Ah, some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from an evil king? Hey, you know, it tagged yourself. Princess Zelda, we're nearly at the spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. So this is where the gro the ghost ship is at. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? I'd say the ghost ship is behind all of that. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. Ghost? Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds and remind them that there is rules. There are rules to being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyways. Uh, yeah, there's definitely no ghost ship either, right, guys? Hey, look! The air feels chilly, eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being scared! We're here to see the world, not take detours! Ship ahoy! Petra, I can see a ship! Yeah, a ship up ahead! Oh, there it is! That is creepy, dude. Compared to our little sloop. Oh, that thing is huge. Oh, and it just, oh my god. It's the ghost ship. These waters really are cursed. It just stops right in front of us. And you call yourself a pirate. It's just a ship. It does look like it could be the ghost ship. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it could be any ship. I mean, it could be the ghost ship, but I don't know. There might be even a load of treasure on board. I wonder what makes it the ghost ship. Maybe it's because a huge fog came along the sea and then the ship came through it with a skull and eye lanterns? Maybe that's what makes it a ghost ship. Oh God. Intro to uh, you know Kingdom Hearts plays, you know. <laughs> Link, save me, Link. Yeah, this is the door to her heart. I hate that I'm making Kingdom Hearts references now. Oh my god, save me, Link. Trey's influence, you know. Oh, whoo, you're awake. So we woke up on a uh, deserted island. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. 
But it looks like you're going to be okay. Hello. I'm Celia. You see, I'm a fairy. So we have... The, the, I love I love all the different fairy names. Um, I never got what Celia meant. Because you get Tattle, you get Tail, you get Navi for Navigator, right? I don't know what Celia... Oh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I literally... Yeah. Sela. Oh, sorry, Sela. Right. I'm Sela. Like, see you later? Okay. Uh, you see, I'm a fairy. <laughs> I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Yeah. Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet, so you've got nothing to worry about. Our house is up there, off the beach. Come on. All right, so let's go. Let's go talk to uh, this fairy's grandpa. See if uh, see if he knows anything about Zel uh, or Tetra. Oh, can you walk? Uh, yeah. Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Don't do some doobies. Thanks for the eight months. You superfluous. Superfluous hawk. Thanks for the two months. Hello, Jello with the eight months. I'm a Wookiee man. Thanks for the prime. Thank you. Uh, stylus, cool. Here we go. So this is uh, Phantom Hourglass, and this is what I remember about it, right? So you, we, you know, you walk by tapping your stylus in a direction, right? So up, down, left, right. And I don't know if I'm gonna be looking too much at like the actual screen down here. I think I'll, I'll, I'll try to like really not do it. Yeah, it, it, yeah. So this is this is Phantom Hourglass. It's it's the it's the Nintendo DS gimmick, you know, of like, okay, you know, we're gonna have this happen. But um, I really liked it. I actually really like this. Uh, it's it's pretty neat. Anyways, <laughs> this looks terrible. I I really enjoyed Phantom Hourglass. You know, I uh, or at least the quarter of the game that I played it. So I have seen this, but obviously you know, I've seen this before and everything, and I do know what the Ocean Temple is. But um, I won't spoil it for you guys, and uh, I'll I'll give you some. Uh, yeah, um, but I uh, I don't know anything else. Uh, game's great though, from what I know. All right, so we have to go over to over here to the grandpa's house. Hello. Oh, yo, what's going on, my guy? Hi, old Gramps. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Link. Uh, I'm Oceus, and I live on this island. Celia, sorry, Celia told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But, but Grandpa, what are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture. And no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from the ghost ship. No, to, to seek out the ship is to seek out your own doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? <laughs> Young people. <laughs> Those goddamn whippersnappers. Back in my day, we had to sail both ways uphill in the, in the ocean. There's a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. So I can I can always like show you guys like this. But yeah. You mean the guy who came to visit Grandpa? He asked about the ghost ship. I, I remember him. I'll go with Link and show him who he is. It's okay, right, right Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Link. Yeah, so we have to go uh, talk to Linebeck, see if he knows anything. And he can help us out. 
Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. Let's go. He's always been antsy, that one. Now, Link. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. They gave in to you and told you about Linebeck, but you be careful out there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to Linebeck. Hello. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to look down for, like, stuff like this. Hey! We got a rupee! Yeah, you have to, like, tap on the actual things to, like, you know, to, to break the pots. And is it really a Zelda game if you don't just break all of the pots immediately? You know? Is it is it really... Hey, we're rich! We got two rupees. I just doubled my money with one throw of a, a pot. Jake the No Life, thanks for the four months. Oh, let's go! I doubled it again. Awesome. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. What the heck? What's that rumbling? Another earthquake. So many quakes lately. So many monsters. Bad signs for sure. And I bet there are even uh, worse things to come. All right. So let's go here. Oh, that explains it. Oh, heavens. That quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately. And the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. Hear me out. I don't think that's because of the earthquakes. I think that's because of poor structural engineering. So hear me out. Right? Maybe. You should just build a better bridge. There's a second way to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait for the bridge to get fixed um, while I go to the bathroom real quick. So uh, let me know when it gets fixed, guys, okay? Just like peak or bounce, um, and then hopefully that'll help it. Alright, did they uh, build the bridge yet? 
So, uh, is it... Oh, what the hell? Oh, also, wait, what the hell? Why did my Wii U just turn off? Turn it back on. Charge your gamepad. It's plugged in. Comrade Waffle, thanks for the prime. Worker blaming his tools. Hey, Abby. I can't walk around. I can't do anything. That explains that explains what happened I I understand now <laughs> I get it there we, hey hey look it works look I got it it's, it's on look guys it whoa who knew okay yeah that was that was a bit that I just played that was so funny wasn't it guys that was that was crazy how that was just so planned okay um, let's go through the, let's go through the tunnel to get to the other side. Hey, you know, what did, uh, you know, what's, what's the, what the chicken, you know, how the chicken cross the road? Why the, why the chicken? Why, how, how, why is the, let's go through. Uh, the video gaming. Thanks for the six months. Carrie Ann. Thanks for the 16, 16 and not pregnant. I'm, you know what? I'm proud of you. Uh, Comrade Waffle, thanks for the Prime. Um, and Bully Stroke, thanks for the two months. Jake the Nova, that's the poor. Okay. So, we have this area. Hey, we got a free heart. Do I, am I just about to break every single... I think I might. Okay. Yo, Grandpa uses this cave as a storehouse. Awesome. Let me through. Okay, never mind. Not Maybe not this cave. This recording is actually live. Didn't you ask that literally yesterday? You did ask this literally yesterday. All right. Hey, Stans, what's what's going on? How's it? How it be? How it do? <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I remember your usernames. Like, <laughs> ignoring me. See you later then. Okay. So just, uh... Dan, thanks for the three months of Prime. You know what? I love how I get your Prime and your wife's Prime, too. It, it just makes me feel powerful, you know? <laughs> hey, it's, 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 you know, it means more than like a tier one, right? Because there's only one Prime. Crusader, thanks for the four months. Uh, Jeff gave me VR, thanks for the prime. Oh, all right. Hey, that's how it's done. Just tap the people to speak with them. I just had a bit of bad luck with my gardening here. That quake heaped a bunch of rocks in the middle of my patch. Would you mind moving them? Awesome. All right. Yeah, so this is Phantom Hourglass. Um, I'm actually curious. Stans, let me call you out real quick. Have you in your old age... Um, <laughs> um, have you played Phantom Hourglass? Or do you know what Phantom Hourglass is? Oh. Look, 
Look, I, I did it. You proud of me? No way, this is too new. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, so Awakening Link to the Past. Okay, I get you, I get you, I get you. Uh, I feel like most people haven't played this game. That's probably why, you know, I'm playing it. Uh, please, I insist. Hey, we got one rupee for doing that. Let's go. We're fucking rich, dude. I don't need your goddamn primes. Get out of here. And here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree in that spot. Ooh, bash it really hard. Okay, can you guys remember this for me? Can you remember to, to, to bash that tree? I'd recommend that you jot that down on your map before you forget it. To scribble on your map. Oh, tap menu. Then, okay. <gasps> oh my god. Chat. We get to... We get to write notes. Look, it, it's so cute, right? You know? heard of uh your lord and savior twitch prime you know is a uh subscription that you can get for oh, dare i say absolutely free right it's all you need to do is press the subscribe button right you can you gotta check right subscribe press the subscribe button scroll all the way down right and then it says subscribe with prime a little check mark right there right and you can subscribe for free it doesn't cost any money whatsoever if you connect your amazon account to your twitch account see a lot of you guys have already used it like stans and his wife uh which means well hey if you want to be as cool as them you got to use it you got to manually renew it too so it's not something that you you got to like you know set and forget it's something you got to remember every single month which is why i am telling you this that's why I'm like, hey guys, remember, you're a Twitch Prime. I wish there was an easier way to race. I really do. Uh, Mr. Soup, uh, Su Superman, thanks for the three months of Prime. Uh, Wailing Goat, thanks for the three months of Prime. John, thanks for the three months of Wow, three months of Prime. Wow, three months there. I'm assuming those are subathon people then with your Primes. I appreciate that a lot. Winter Wolf Games, thanks for the Prime for two months. Hey, and not only that, let me, while well, I'm racing this, um, if you are a student and you have a university email, um, it's super easy. Um, just get Prime Students, which is free for six months, and then I think it's like five dollars for the like the. It's it's incredibly cheap, or just free for six months. If you do that, sign up, and then connect your Amazon account to your Twitch account, you can technically get a free Prime for free. Well, you can get a free Prime with just your university mail. Uh, the only thing you need is to pay for tuition, which we already know we're all bending over and uh, paying for still. You know. Anyways, a danger monsters ahead. Okay, let's go. Let's go there. Uh, Squinch, thanks for the two months of Prime Goat Goat Motorboat. <laughs> thanks for the Prime. <laughs> what a name. I <laughs> oh, appreciate it. Damn, just graduated. Ah, you. If you still, even if you graduated, I still have my. Uh, I still have my university email. All right, so we just have to dodge these guys. Monsters, look out, Link. It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Okay. Laura, thanks for the uh, one year of Prime. Thank you. Hey, and, that, and that's why, you know, that's why I remind you guys to use your Primes. Uh, because you have to manually renew them. See all the people that forgot? I got you. Just trying to get you guys some value out of it. Like, for example, how can you Pro bounce without your Primes? Shib, thanks for the three months. Try the path to the north. Celia, uh, I don't pretend you for, uh, don't pretend you forgot I never told you to go that way. We've seen so many quakes lately. And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious. That cave up north leads to the port. It's true, but the path will be crawling with monsters. Don't even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around repairing the bridge. Alright, so we gotta we gotta find a way to probably break into his storehouse. Uh, if only you found sword, then you can show those monsters. Yeah, so let's let's go into the storehouse over here and see if we can like break in and find a sword. Oh, so wait, wait, what if we use this? I actually forget a lot of this. I'll be real with you. Like throw it? No. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? 
Remember, he cracks open the door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Oh, really? Let's go! <laughs> we really just... Hey, hey, you can just brute force it, okay? <laughs> Alright, nice. Uh, son Sonar. Or Sonar, thanks for the seven months of your Prime. Scott Scal uh, Scott's Claws, thanks for the Prime Gaming. And Hiker Dan, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming as well. Glad you guys can use the emotes and get ad-free viewing. I do run ads on the channel. It's about uh, three minutes uh, of ads per hour. So uh, you get to ignore those. It's not too much. It's not too little. I think it's like right in the middle right there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I got like a thing with Twitch that makes me do it. So I have to. Um, Trenton Armor. Uh, Trenton Amore. Thanks for the 14 months. But it helps you, uh, you know, skip them. Hey, you got Osha's sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus on the touchscreen. You found a sword. Uh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. So, slide. Right, because you have to... You have to. Oh, I forgot about this. Right, because you have to... You, you walk, and then to, to, you know, do this, you have to slash. That's so crazy. I forgot about that. Or, like, you can tap on it, right? And it, like... Yeah. Hungry Cat, thanks for the tier one subscription. All right, using the sword, basic number one. Use the stylus to swing your sword, tap and drawing lines quickly is the key to deft sword play. So just kind of. <laughs> oh, circle, right? Nice. Circle. Awesome. Love to see it. Hey, we're rich. We got 23 rupees. They really improved the DS controls and Spirit Tracks, too. If you guys like this, we will play Spirit Tracks. If I see a lot of, like, if I see a lot of you guys really enjoying it, then I'll play Spirit Tracks. Rob Van Symphony, thanks for the three months. Uh, Mushy, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Pronuspius, thanks for the Tier 1. Captain Beefheart, thanks for the Prime. Thank you, guys. You two are proving quite a handful. Isn't that, isn't that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Grandpa, I'm so sorry, but we just had to. We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, uh, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. I'll teach you how to handle it. Meet me in my house, Link. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second after the uh, tutorial. Link, so you have a sword. Then know, what, uh, know that even the best swords can be bad. If it's handled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of sword play. Let's begin with the targeted attack. Um, I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Tap on the target. So tap. Tap. So tap. And tap. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> Excellent. The targeted attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. Uh, when you find it hard to lock on the enemies, use a side slash instead. Sketch a line that divides you and your target to slash at it. A little practice. So simply sketch a slash. So like go over here and slash. Right? Slash. 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 Gaming. Hey, we fully understand the side slash. Remember it well. And finally, we have the spin attack. Slide with the stylus around the circle. So I want to go. Wow. Nice. Superb. I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monster. But if you have, if you do have any problems, return here and speak with me. Awesome. Um, I'm curious, how does this hold up on Twitch? Like, uh, I know it's um, um, uh, uh, I know it's like uh, uh, oh, there we go. Um, I know it's the uh, um, it's like a DS and the graphics are a little weird, but I'm curious how it like looks. Also, um, how's the volume? That, that's two things. Two things. First off, how does it look? The graphics are awesome, but readable. Okay. It's a DS game, you know? I can't make it better. I'm just curious how it, like, feels to, to, to see. 
Because I'm I see it a little bit smaller down here uh, than you guys um, over there. Um, and then second thing, okay, second thing. Um, how is the audio right now? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Is it beautiful? Amazing. Also, no crunching audio. The I have my own. I have my theory about why that is. Uh, my mic's peaking. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, test, test. Uh, this is me speaking right into the mic. Yeah, okay, that's probably better. Okay. Yeah, not much cracking, and you want to know why? I think I know. I think I know the reason. This is gonna sound so stupid. Um, there's there's probably some sort of um, um. Some sort of like uh, electricity, some sort of you know, um, something that's not grounded um, on my desk. That's you know has some sort of like current um, or or voltage. You know, kind of like um, there's probably some sort of voltage difference, or there's a current going through, or whatever, right? Um, and so the funny thing is that um, I, I don't know, it's something not grounded, which means that you're hearing the crackling, right? That's that's the sound of you know, electricity, right? Um, and so the funny thing is that currently. My capture card is on the ground. Literally, it's on the floor. Um, which, and the reason why it's probably not crackling as much because it is literally grounded. <laughs> so, in case, in case you're ever curious, hey, my setup's so scuffed. Your setup's probably better than mine. My capture card is, yeah, literally on the floor. There's still, still some crackle here and there, but it's not nearly as bad as it was before. Most likely because of that. It's the Solid Jack thanks for the Prime Gaming P Vanny. Uh, P Vanny, thanks for the, or P V Nani, thanks for the uh, four months, and Emo Lawn Flamingo, thanks for the nine. All right, cool. Die! Hey, let's go. That's satisfying. Oh, that, yeah, the, the little, the little, like, pause as you break, you know, as you, like, it's like, boom! Uh, that's some feedback. That's nice. I like that a lot. That's cool. Cool. Worker's awesome because he has science as well as gaming. Hey, you know, I was looking at, like, Atrox Marketing Mondays. Like, what if I do, like, a science science stream every week? Kind of cool. Boing. Want to do some somersault? Scribble in tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll on that big tree and see what shakes loose. Roll too much, however, and you'll get dizzy. So if I... Wait, so if I, how do I, oh, like that. Okay, so if I, I if you go in a circle on the side of the screen like that, I can roll. That's, I, that's interesting. Oh, God, God no, 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 no. There we go. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Science Saturday. I don't want to stream on Saturdays, but yeah. I, mean, I can figure it out. Science Sundays or something. Like, it'd be a short, like, one to two hour stream about something cool. That'd be pretty sick, actually. Seen too much bad science on YouTube lately. I mean, keep in mind, like you know, in electrical engineering, sorry, in in in, in circuits for university, um, I got a oh mountain passage. Um, in circuits, I got a actually I got I, I failed. I actually got like an F. Um, and then the second time I got a D plus, which was passing. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> it, I I really suck when it comes to electricity. Now chemistry, just in general, is probably better. You know. Like, Thermo, I got an A. Ooh, okay. So we're in the mountain passage, and we need to find a key to here to get out. Oh, what's up, guys? How it be, how it do? He's so good at the game. <laughs> All right, so this is probably the key, I'm assuming. Hey, it's monkey. Okay, awesome. I mean, it's interesting. I just didn't ever take the time out to learn it. I should have a chemistry degree. I do too. I have a degree. I have a bachelor's of science in materials, science, engineering, focusing on chemical engineering. Pretty, you know, pretty cool. And then I, I choose to stream for a living. <laughs> I think, I think that surprises some people uh, every now and then. <laughs> the, the goal, you know, dude, dude, it'd be so satisfying. One of the reasons why I was like, I gotta, I gotta finish my degree is because like, 
um, there's gonna be one point in my career where someone's gonna be like, yeah, he's just a streamer, he's so stupid, right? And then <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, I mean, yeah, I'm stupid, but like, at least I'm book smart. <laughs> like, you know? Oh. Tap a block to grab it, then tap the arrows to move it. Okay, so this is the block. So this is like a dungeon. Okay, so this is a dungeon tutorial, basically. Um, on the way to uh, the village. Biddy Arya, thanks for the gifted sub. Mayonnaise, thanks for the gifted sub as well. Ew, keys. Oh, God. They look more like bats in this game. When pulling the levers, first, second... Oh, fuck. Okay, so second... When pulling the levers, second from the left... So, um, second from left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, control bad. Okay, whatever. Okay, cool. Second from left. Okay. And then, um, uh, what about, no, no, that was the pull one, right? So then what's, what's the other, what's this? Okay. Pull the four levels in the correct order or else. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is my child. This is my first Zelda game I ever played. Um, I haven't finished it though, and so that's what we're doing on stream. Uh, that that that's what that's the goal is. We're going to finish this game. I've never finished it. I don't know the ending. Okay. What is this? Hey, twenty rupees. Nice. Okay. We're pulling the levers. Oh, okay. So um, first on the left. And then second from right. Okay. Okay. So first is second from left. So um, if we are on the left, it's second from left. And then um, then first on and then first on the left. And then second from right. Oh, what? How? You go second from left. How does that, how's that wrong? Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. It was last second from right. Sorry, I got that wrong. Sorry, sorry I remember this. So, so it, the first, first is second from left, right? And then um, first on the left. And then, and then second from right is the last one. So then I have to do this one here and then, and then here. Awesome. My handwriting was right, by the way. <laughs> hey, the small key, all right. I hope you guys enjoy my handwriting because we're only doing a lot of it. I didn't know you had a medical degree. I don't have a medical degree. Imagine if I did, though. God, those people would be fucked. Second floor, cool. Uh, Prince Lee, thanks for the five gifted subs. It's very nice of you. And the $10 donation. Uh, I've been watching your Wind Waker playthrough. Uh, so seeing you play this, knowing it was your first Legend of Zelda game is such a lovely surprise for me this afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. I hope you are having a wonderful day yourself. Um, yeah, this was my first Zelda game. Uh, but I haven't finished it. So we're, we're finishing it, uh, uh, on stream. Okay. So you can see one of the, uh, rats has the, uh, one of the rats has the, the, uh, uh key here. This one. You, you have the key. Okay. How do I, how do I get you? Maybe, do I have to block? I think I have to block the, the cave here. Oh my God. Thanks for the 150 bits. Yeah. So I do this, right? Or like, like, he, like the, the, the rat goes, right? And then, and then, and then he can't get into the hole. <laughs> So now I go. He's blocked. He starts screaming. And then I... And then, and then we go back. And then we go back, you know, and then we wait for him to do it again, right? And then, and then I catch him correctly this time. And then now, for the third time in a row, you catch him. And then... This is the this is literally the worst puzzle I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the worst puzzle in any Zelda game. There we go. 
Easy. Look, look at that. First try. Actually, actually, first try. Death by rodent of unusual size. The RUSs. As you wish. Prince Lee, thanks for the two months. Triple whammy, the dono, the gift, and the tier one. Oh, and the prime. Let's go. Oh my lordy, thank you. What a what a what a good good movie. F uh, Princess and the Bride is is in my opinion, uh, if you have to like say a ten out of ten movie, that is a ten out of ten movie. There's not a single point in that movie where I'm like, oh, uh, dude, it, it is it is one of my top five. Uh, I'd say top five movies has to be, um, Princess Bride, Morbius of course, um. Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Italian Job, and um, Knives Out. Oh, and um, and Spirited Away. Yeah. Yo, look at this town. Whoa. Hey, and the ship. Assuming that's where Linebeck is. We've made it to the port. It's so much farther to walk out uh, when the bridge is out. Now that we're here, let's look up Linebeck. I've met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. All right, let's head to the port. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is so cool. What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Merkay Island's port. You normally see sailors coming and going, but rumors said that the ghost ship has returned uh, but rumors that the ghost ship has returned have all sh but shut down our harbor. Except for one brave soul who recently docked his ship, that is. Hello. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hit the chicken. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Look, he's expertly dodging all of the chickens. Look at this. MLG Pro. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Come on! All right, give me, uh, speaking of come on, please give me a, like a heart here. No, I'll take rupees, I guess. <laughs> Yo, is that the one, the only Alpha Rad TV? The one, the only person who was hosting the Cup Pong Invitational, which you can go to I want to see CupPong.com and get your tickets to see me live when I play Cup Pong with um, a, a non, with a person that uh, has not been announced yet that I'm playing with. <laughs> Eric, the One Piece chapter just dropped? Did it actually? Oh, it just did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the ping. <laughs> oh my God. I'll watch it. Do I have to watch it right now? Oh, or, or read it right Oh God, I want to read it right now. Why'd you have to tell me this? This is a good one. Don't tell. It's gonna be the longest like eight hour stream of my entire life. The last chapter before the four week break. Oh, that hurts. Uh, don't, don't, don't spoil. No spoilers. Mods actually ban anybody who spoils it. <laughs> Look at this remarkable ship. Chapter's literally called New Empress. I mean, they, also the last chapter, you know, they kind of, you know, did the, you know. Regardless. <laughs> God. All right, Alpharad, you're getting banned. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know, that's not a spoiler. If One Piece is so good, why isn't there a One Piece 2? Look at the remarkable chip. What do you think about it? <laughs> oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Have a fun stream. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. <laughs> two piece? No, it's one piece two. That's that's uh that's a quote from one of my moderators, Eddie. Um, symbol my nindle. Thanks for the twenty months. Welcome back. Um, time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she were only mine! It belongs to a sea captain. It goes by the name of Linebeck. A fearless soul, I hear. He's never he's seen the whole world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Linebeck? 
The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him for days. Ah, uh, the classic milk bar. You know, I, dude, I'll tell you, when I get that 2%, I'm messed up for the rest of the night, you know? I get, I get this, like, weird haze of, you know? Oh, God, it's crazy. <laughs> but, hey, whole milk? I, I, that, I call that shit jet fuel, right? It really gets you going. <laughs> All right. Uh, the captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck has vanished to. Yeah, let's go check him out. Linebeck seems like a badass captain. Where's the milk bar? Um, is this the milk bar over here? Uh, treasure teller opening soon. Okay, it's not. Is this the milk bar? No, it is not. Heard of the fortune teller, Astrid? Nope. I've heard that Astrid lives on the Isle of Ember. The ghost ship. All those who's vanished. She saw it all in advance, it said. I bet she'd know what it takes for me to find a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Keep dreaming. <laughs> I don't think you have a goddamn chance. Imagine being maidenless in this day and age. Oh, hello. Oh, you're the shop. Okay. So no maidens? Uh, chat, uh, one of these days I'll play um, Elden Ring. Uh, I don't know if uh, soon, but maybe later. Play Elden Ring. Figure it out. I think, I think a lot of people are uh, sick of Elden Ring since everyone's played it. So I'll wait like a year and then come back to it. Burn it down. Thanks for the prime. Yo, a new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drifting here to, uh, uh, to while away the hours. <laughs> Bit empty at the moment. Man, I, uh, wow. That's crazy. I, 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 I just, I, the, 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 the wife, the wife divorced me. I'm going to go head to the milk bar to drown my sorrows in sweet, sweet lactose. <laughs> but aren't you a tad short to be in here? Take no offense, sir. I'll ha I'm like I'm tall enough to be in the milk bar. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. And that chair there knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow. But he went off the north side to our isle. Did my hear did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King? Listen up, youngin! Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple up there is built on his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on the place that sucks the souls from all who enter. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Can't say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, uh, steer clear. That's what we all do. But the odd visitor now, uh, and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Right here on your map. Uh, you're not actually going there, are you? All right, well, let's go there to the place that will suck our soul uh, out of our body. Nothing sounds uh, uh, more pleasant than that. How you doing, Crow? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I always love playing uh, uh, you know, games uh, on stream. Uh, with you guys. You guys are fun to stream for. You guys are a great audience. I, I got I got this comment on my uh, um, on my YouTube channel. Uh, I think uh, with the last... I, I do read most of my comments. Um, uh, I just can't respond to like any of them. <laughs> but I, I read I read most of my comments and I got this one on, on the recent video. Um, and it was like, hey, Punkro, I haven't like watched your videos in a year and everything. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's... It's it's good to you know I I can't believe the quality has just gotten like so much better and like just amazing and you know, it's, it's amazing like awesome I'm like hey thanks man and um, it proceeds by a lot of um, other um, comments being uh, a couple other comments being like yeah I haven't like really watched Point Crow in like a year because uh, I stopped by his chat and like his, his thing and it just gave me like really weird vibes like he, he was like frustrated all the time and his chat wasn't great you know and it was just like really toxic. Um, and, uh, and he's like, yeah, but, you know, I stopped by 
recently and uh it, it's good to know that like all of those vibes are gone now um and i was like yeah <laughs> that's like that's completely accurate because there was like a, a full year um there was a full year ago a full year ago i was uh just really frustrated i was being bombarded by toxic comments and all this stuff and i was like um i i it got in my head right i got a lot of people saying i've already talked about it a couple times um and you guys probably know what i'm talking about but i got a lot of like it got really in my head like really in my head and i was like maybe i am like this trash like maybe i am like all this stuff and so i just kept getting mad right and uh i, I kept wanting to play like i was like i want to play pokemon and like it's frustrating and it was just like it was i was being toxic it, it, it like a chat is a reflection of the streamer right and my chat was toxic. Um, and I fully admit that. I, I just don't. It wasn't, like, pleasant to, to be a part of um, for either the streamer or another viewer. And uh, I was being toxic. So I, you know, um, and, and all this all this fun jazz. But regardless, is what I'm trying to say here is um, it was really nice to see that comment because it was like, I've grown. You know, I've, I've, I've grown. I, um, I, I know now that i'm you know it's like it's gotten better right I, I i don't i don't get angry about like small things i i don't be like oh god stop telling me what to every now and then like i'll slip up obviously um, i'm a human like anybody else i'm not like an infallible person you know, like i have my own faults um and i still have them i'm still working on them you know sometimes i get mad for no reason um sometimes i flip on on things that were taken out of context but um it's like it's it's awesome that you know i've kind of like re realized that i've had to grow up really fast in the past couple years um so it's like nice oh so what i'm trying to yeah so i i really like my um i really like streaming games to my chat <laughs> because you guys are fun to stream for um and i feel like i'm in a better space mentally i i'm one of the reasons being um i am i have gained enough confidence with myself and what i do on the internet so i don't get walked all over um both on stream and off stream and that's the main thing when abby when i hired abby that was her first actual job uh it wasn't like oh you need to find me a lion or whatever her first actual job was like i need you to help me getting like stop getting walked all over um so and she did so it will stand up for myself. All right. Um, there was this. Uh, um, I'm trying. To, I'm literally pointing to it on my screen. You guys can't see. It. I'm like, hey, right here. Um, <laughs> um, uh, right here uh, is uh, the place that we marked out. So we have to roll into this. And we found a big green rupee, which is hidden by a, a leaf <laughs> worth 100 rupees. Anyways, Abby was not only, like, an awesome worker, but, like, an amazing friend for, you know, calling... She calls me out whenever, like, I'm being stupid. And I think that's, like, always very important. And uh, when you don't have people like that in your life, you always get uh, um, kind of tunnel visioned. Uh, even if you think you're right. But it's, it's always good to have that check of, like, hey, am I being stupid right now? And it's like, no, actually, no, you're actually completely valid. It's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyways. I just thought that was like cool because it's like it's like a weird thing for now for me to be like oh hey i really like my twitch chat and just knowing that there's like a like like a little past history of that uh history of that i just thought it was a really awesome comment on my youtube page because i didn't really realize that until my like recently where it's like yeah my stream has changed like a lot my stream changed a lot the way i like approach things has changed a lot and i'm just like excited to take over the world now <laughs> And we got so many cool things coming up, guys. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you. If you think... If you think multiplayer... Breath of Wild multiplayer is the coolest thing this year, you are so mistaken. We just finished storyboarding a video. Slash... Sorry. We storyboarded a stream. Holy shit. Multiplayer is like... Not even close to how cool it is. 
Anyways, sorry. I know I'm rambling or whatever, but uh, sometimes these turn into a just chatting kind of thing. We have 230, <laughs> It's great because I'm going to just get a bunch of rupees. But yeah, uh, I'm just so I'm so happy. Like, I I've, I'm I haven't been as happy in 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 a, in a hot second. So okay, this is the temple of the Ocean King, the place that sucks our souls. This is the temple of the Ocean King. Legend has it the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King, but the temple has fallen into ruin, and people who say it ruins any who enter. That's funny. Still, we have to find Linebeck. So let's dive right on in, Link. All right. Thorfinn Lost, thanks for the six months. In Yard of Eden, thanks for the 25 months. All right, the Temple of the Ocean King. Let's find Linebeck. Oh, that's a skull. That's a, that's a skeleton. And that's an hourglass. <laughs> Whoa, look, Link. Looks like someone's skeleton. What's it doing here? You don't think... This could be Linebeck. This is really starting to creep me out. Hello? So even if you clear a trap, it, re it resets once you leave. I should have made notes on my map, but I couldn't make notes on maps that have these icons. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the tutorial, random spirit. I foolishly entered this temple. In moments, it drained the life right out of me. I entered this temple in search of the treasure, but monsters that could be not be slain with a sword stalked the corridors. Whoa. Yeah, this is this is making it out to be one of the scariest places in Zelda. What's over here? Hello? Can I grab this? No? Okay. Guess not. <laughs> yeah, he, these guys are dead, dead. All right. Hey! Wait. Did you hear something, Link? Hey, look at, look at the map. Yeah, look, look at the map here. It's an hourglass. Very spooky game. Spooky. Hey! Okay, I definitely heard something, didn't you? Hey, there's someone over there, Link. You, kid! Over here, kid! I'm talking to you. You came right at the right time. You're lucky you found me. Luckily for me, but luckier for you. Now help me. Oh, that's Linebeck. Hey, are you listening? I said help. What is he screaming about? For someone pleading to be saved, he sure is rude. What'd you say? I love I love his mustache. He's, he's beautiful. It's that chatty fairy from the old man's place. Yes, I got it. Listen, can you help me out? Just pay attention to whatever I have to say. I know you're a kid and all, but try to listen up. I'm trapped in here, and I don't know what to do. Normally, I'd free myself without any problem, but I sprained my ankle, and I can't move. Will you help? No. What? Wait. Can't you see that I'm begging? Come on, please. Kid. You're just heartless. You've got nothing to lose. Come on, help me out. <laughs> nah, sorry, man. You're, just, you're, you're fucked. All right, fine, fine, fine. I need you to come through for me, kid. Well then. Do something about these pointy spikes. There's got to be a way to disarm the trap somewhere around here. Fine, Linebeck. Just wait here. Let's help him out, Link. Sick, sick nasty, dude. Also, hey, if you guys are enjoying the stream and you're not following the stream yet, feel free to follow. I'll be live for like the uh, next like eight hours. Long stream today. Oop, shit. Wrong dial. Hello? There we go. Hi. I'm trying to balance my... There we go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, I've been also holding... Dude, I I've been holding this like this. Dude, my thumb fucking hurts, man. Holy shit. I, I gotta, I gotta, like, literally just put on the... It's just, like, a way I can, like... Uh, 
have to figure out something here. But this is like the most awkward thing to hold for the Wii U. Like uh, on the right or so, like left. Yeah, th this is on the Wii U because streaming this on a uh, DS would be a nightmare. I have a stylus. All right, anyways. So let's find a way to help him. Um, is it weird? Okay, is it weird that I'm looking down on stream like this? Is that weird? Like when I'm like this? No, it's fine. Okay, cool. All right, um, let's. All right, so let's go save Lineback. We gotta go out here. Oh hey, wait a second. There's something I forgot to tell you. One thing you should know about the temple: it'll suck the life right out of you. Why don't you tell us that sooner? That's that's pretty important, you know. Let me finish. Uh, don't go running away yet. I know it's scary, but it's not like the temple sucked life out of you all of the time. I'm not sure why, but as long as you stand on the areas like this, you'll be okay. So we have safe zones, basically. Yeah, the purple safe. Yeah, those safe zones. Yep, I did get all that. Keep your strength up, kid. Don't be shy about breaking pots. No, get me out of here. All right, so if we go out here. Oh, yeah, okay, we do start. Yeah, we, we start losing life. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. So stay on purple floor when you can. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing is there. Oh, it's empty. I, I, I wonder if someone got it before us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. Yeah, because it's like the first. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what about this? Hey, let's go. Are you kidding me? That little boy did it. Okay, I'm taking that as my cue to get out of here. Freedom! He just, he just left us in here. Okay, good to know. Thanks for that, my guy. Woo! I think we can take a quick breather. Hey, he, oh yeah, he had a sprained ankle. Yeah, wait, what, uh, what? You're walking just fine. You said you needed our help. Bah! It's not like you're the one who did the saving. Hey, kid. You're pretty brave for someone so short. Stop. Okay, it, I just want to clarify. He's mentioning Link in the game is the one that's short, okay? Not me. I'm very tall. I mean, not as brave as me, but not too shabby. So your name is Link, huh? Now that's a weird name. The name is Linebeck. I'm a real man of the sea. Impressive, huh? It was smooth sailing for me in the beginning, but I got myself stuck in that trap. This place will suck the life right out of you. Really, no way I haven't heard that yet. If you let it, blasted temple. What are you doing in a place like this anyway? And what do you want from me, kid? What? You're looking for the ghost ship? So you're trying to get your mitts on the treasure. Treasure, what, what are you even talking about? Link is trying to save his friend. She was abducted by the ghost ship. We came hoping that you might know more about it. Oh, really? Boo hoo, oh sweet, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm just teasing, kid. And that's what this is about, I'm on board. I'm here looking for info about the ghost ship too. This was just a step away, but I sprained my ankle. Otherwise, I would have explored this cursed place. Liar, I, I just saw you running around like a rabbit. No, no you didn't. That was just an illusion. My ankle's still throbbing. The pain is unbearable. Oh, no. Oh, the pain. I feel so bad for him. Anyway, you want to know about the ghost ship? Go on without me, kid. Go grab the clue about the ghost ship. It has to be in there. We need to find the ship. Got that? You're faking it. I think you're just scared. <laughs> you just slap him there. Not a chance. Normally, I'd be leading the charge down there. Uh, but I know how much it means to Link. I'm letting him have the glory of saving his friend. So anyway, here, uh, take this with you, kid. I found this key around here. It might help. <laughs> you got a small key. It opened a locked door. All right, awesome. 
You know what to, uh, you know what you've got to do, so get to it. Oh, and good luck out there, kid. Shoo, shoo. I, I love how much, yeah, I love how, person how much personality this game has. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Re6udo? Thanks for the three months of Prime. I'm so sorry. I probably said that wrong. All right, so we go up here. Uh, let me go here. No, wait, we go over here. To open the door. Yeah, the music's amazing in this, too. All right, so what if we go this way? Okay, so that stops spikes. Okay, so those are like activators. Oh, and it's like limited. Ah! Don't. <laughs> all right, all right, it happens, all right? It happens to the best of us. All right, so it stops the spikes, and then we had both open, so it opens the door. Awesome. Eric, will you play Minecraft Legends when it comes out? What is Minecraft Legends? I've never heard of that. Oh, okay, so what is this? It is a C chart. Oh. Interesting. So that's the location of where we are. We're on the bottom left uh, of the map. Must be an important clue to find the ghost ship. You should show it to Lineback. Whoa, look at that old C chart. I wonder if that's the clue to the ghost ship Lineback was talking about. That might be, yeah. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's go over this way. I recommend you mark fake floors in the map. It's already, it's already, a, it's already marked right here. Cool. All right, awesome. Let's go back now. Easy, dude, easy. Minecraft Legends is a game like Age of Calamity. No shot, really. Hey, where's Lineback? Can you believe that nerve of that guy? Making us go in here by ourselves? Yeah, he literally sends, like, a child. He's like, yeah, so the place that, like, you know, there's a bunch of skeletons and skulls and people that died there. So, like... I'm gonna send in a child. They got a lot of life left, so, you know. It'll take a while to suck the life out of them. Which, actually, is kind of smart when you think about it, right? If, it's, if the place sucks the life out of you... Does it mean that it's it works slower on children because there's more life? Or faster because they haven't lived as much life? Tempar, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Oh, if isn't the little monkey and Twinkie Pal. Slowly getting the goods, eh? Slow, how dare you? You were quick enough to run off, injury and all. What an insult. I was merely hurrying back to my ship. Any captain worth his salt puts a ship before his own safety, I tell you. But tell me, little monkey, what did you find in the treasure chest? Ah, a map. Let me take a look at it. What's this? Some boring old sea map? Now I see, as we call it in the adventuring business, a treasure map. If we probe its mysteries, we can find the very prize I'm seeking, the ghost ship. And by we, I mean me. Farewell, little monkey. I'm off to find an adventure. They just steal our map. Did you, yeah, did you just really just do that? He muscles in our map and then runs off with it? What, what should we do? Yeah, we, we should we, we gotta chase after him. That's fucked up, man. That's messed up. And he called us a monkey. Monkey D Link Key. <laughs> do it. This is a stupid joke. Alright, let's let's go let's go to his ship. You should be over here, right? Yep. With the ah, oh, with the old man. Look who's gracing our presence. It's old man Oceus. Oh, so they fixed the bridge. Uh, the bridge has been fixed, so I thought I'd check up on the youngsters here. You're an amazing lad to emerge live from this temple, Link. Very courageous for one so early in his years. You sent me into that treacherous temple too, you old barnacle. Any who enter the temple unprepared will find it a terrifying ordeal. And most will lose their heart and flee for their lives upon hearing me say it. But evidently, there are true heroes among us. Uh, uh, 
I can I can I I already I can already see the keyboard. Oh shus, more like oh sus. Stop. That's so stupid. Um, preen my feathers a little more, old man. Yep, I'm famous, all right. Not you, fool. You're a wreck. You'd be sunk by now if our young friend here hadn't so shown up. I was injured. On a typical day, I blazed through one or two such temples before breakfast. Calm yourself, Linebeck. Tell me what you've made of the temple's map. I've inspected it fully. My trained eye finds that it holds no secrets at all. <laughs> but wait, old man. What do you know about this map? Oh, has the map's puzzle eluded you, Linebeck? If I may see the map. Yeah, wait. How does Oceus know about the map? That's weird, dude. A standard map would simply show you where to go, would it not? I guess. Uh, this is no standard map. How do you know this isn't a standard? How do you know? How, is he like a... Maybe he's like an ocean faring guy. Um, you'll find that one section is a little flaky. Touch it. I trust you can solve the puzzle, Link. One, one part is flaky. Dude, there's no shit. There's no shot I fucking guessed that. Let's go. It's been a while since I've played this game. And when I say a while, it's been 15 years. And I've only played like... I had like 10, 20% of it. Fucking nuts, dude. Let's go. What's this? Look at that. A secret mark on the map. I've also, like, totally forgotten anything of this. Um, that marks a spot of the Isle Born of Volcanic Strife. It is the Isle of Ember. Right, where the, uh, the, 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 the person that, um, we heard about earlier, the, the fortune teller is at. A fortune teller named Astrid lives there. Okay. Maybe subconsciously. I just remember this game way too well. Bridgie, thanks for the three months. And she sees far, Link. So you should ask Astrid if she can see where the ghost ship might be. Isle of Ember, I always suspected there might be something there. So it's as simple as sailing there and finding Astrid. We're off to the Isle of Ember, then. Sila, I'd like you to go with Link. You'd be essential to his efforts, I'm sure. And seeing the outside of the world, you might just find some of your lost memories. Oh. The fairy has lost memories. Will do. Happy to help. So that we have to pal around with Linebeck, though. <laughs> Still, I'm glad we sail the seas and see the world. What? Don't tell me that I have to haul around that twinkly bit of fluff, too. Bah, fine then. All right. The Isle of Ember awaits. Ready to set sail? You guys want to set sail, chat? Zach Bacon, thanks for the 10 months. Thank you. Love Nala with the 23 months. Thank you. Not yet? Okay. Be quick about it. Oh, right. There's a shop, isn't there? Right. Welcome, shopper. How can I help you? Uh, we are rich. We have 268 rupees. So there's um, a red potion. Six hearts. Okay. Um, there's a 10 bombs. Oh, we can buy bombs. Oh, I, oh, we need a bomb bag. Okay. Um, and then there's a Zora scale. And um, not sure what it is. 500 rupees? Has the same uh, Isle of Ember symbol on it. And then the shield. Uh, 80 rupees. Yeah, we'll buy the shield. Got the wooden shield. Defend yourself from minor attacks by holding it. Uh, I think so. I think, I think we're good with this. Um, also get a red potion just in case, you know. Oh, whoopsies. I mean, we are rich, you know, so... Uh, do I get a red... Do I, uh, you know what? I'm not getting a red potion. I'm not, because I won't take damage. Alright, I'm ready to set sail. The Isle of Ember uh, waits. Let's go. 
then climb aboard. The open sea calls. It's off to the open sea with us, then. I'll leave all the navigation to you while I stay down in the engine room. Tap the feather pen icon to access your navigation chart. Just draw a line, and the ship will follow that exact path. Try it out. Go. Oh, and we're off. It's like super low-scale Wind Waker. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, see the engine on the, t uh, on the right? Tap stop to stop. Tap go to go. Uh, stay uh, up the lure up there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if I can route here. Let's go to Beetle's ship. All right, turn to starboard. Whoa. So pretty. It is pretty for a DS game. Want to board the ship, Link? Yes. Welcome to Beetle sh Shop Ship. I deal in anything and everything. What are you looking for? Uh, what is this? A ship part, Mermaid Prow. I don't have that much money. Um, there's um this Goron Amber. This price is crazy. Uh, and then we have this thing, which is which is blue. Okay. It's just called Good Thing. Interesting. Bye. Please come again. All right, goodbye. Interesting. Do I get the amber chat? It's 30 rupees. I don't know what it is, but it seems cheap. Go on amber. This price is crazy. All right, let's buy it. Nice. Hard, valuable mineral has a bug inside of it. Um, uh, can't just do anything else. No, let's, 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 let's split. Let's look at these split. Get out of here. Members card. The more you buy, the more points you'll earn, and the happier you'll be. I pamper my customers. And that brings your point total to one. Try to earn 20 points. There's <laughs> like a punch card. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go to. You know what? Let's let's go over here first. Let's go to the Isle of Ember. We'll go to Cannon Island after. Oh, what the hell? Hey, uh, see that weird thing that just surfaced, Link? I, I, uh, I did. Oh, the sea trap. And we're headed right towards it. We can't attack it, so we only have one option. Make the ship jump over it. That's the jump arrow, uh, but only at the right time. We have a jump arrow? Oh, this. Hey, is that, is that how, is that how ships work? Also, um, I realize I haven't done this yet, but um, uh, in case you're not aware, uh, no spoilers. Um, I'll probably, you know, ask something, you know, say something or whatever, uh, but no spoilers. Wow, that's a that's a big volcano. The Isle of Ember. Cool map too. I mean, look at that. You know. Pretty sick. Must be the Isle of Ember that Grandpa was talking about. We're here. Whoa. A sterling example of my helmsmanship. Impressed, Link? What? You didn't even know where the island was. Who sketched a course on the sea chart? Yeah, Link did. What? You piece of fluff. You just don't appreciate the finer points of sailing. But you get me, right, Link? No. <laughs> Abuse your captain, will you? Okay, you little adventure monkey. Why don't you run off and find Astrid? I'll be right here waiting for you, taking care of my ship. What? Staying behind? You're scared, aren't you? Me scared? I'm never scared, you little fluttering ship. You two go ahead. I'll be breaking my back working on the ship for your sakes. All right. Isle of Ember. Okay, cool, 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 cool. How long is the playthrough? I don't know. I've never finished the game. My first full playthrough of the game, so I have zero idea. Whoa, hello. Is this, this is nothing, okay. Linebacks insults. I, I, I 
think this game is hilarious. Like, the, the writing is... It's so good, dude. Uh, is this Astrid's place over here? Maybe? Um, it might be. It's possible. So, what is this? You're reading my words. It means I have fallen to fate. So, I look east to pick my torch and take up my... Uh, so, look east to pick up my torch and take my duty. So, we need to go head east. What a mystery. I wonder what happened on this aisle, Link. Yeah, nobody's here. Nobody's here on this aisle. Oh, hello. I wonder if I can just, like... Oopsies. Stop. I'm, I'm trying to, like, look at the screen while I'm, like... Right, I'll just look down. Imagine playing this game while not understanding 95% of the words as a child. I mean, that's what kind of happened to me. <laughs> I was just kind of like, yeah! I end up making, like... Uh, making it not that far because <laughs> I couldn't understand what was happening, but it was fun. Uh, summit path approval needed for entry. Uh, electricity. Oh, I missed a I missed a house. There's a there's a house over here. We're playing Spirit Tracks as adult is kind of crazy. I mean, we're playing Phantom. Like, if you guys like Phantom Hourglass, we will play Spirit Tracks. We'll we'll see how it does though. And, uh, and we'll see how, how much I like it and remember. Oh, that's so cool. When you get electrocuted, it also, like, blurs your map. That's pretty neat. Hey, and as the number one streamer that is streaming, you know, Phantom Hourglass, I can, I can safely say that Astrid is not here. Oh, okay. So Astrid's not here, at least on the top part. What about the bottom? Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh my god, are these Aqua Rocks? Oh no, it's saving, so. I hate Aqua Rocks. I hate Aqua Rocks. <laughs> Hang on, Link. What is this? Feel a presence on the other side of the store. Hey, I hear footsteps behind there. But the store looks pretty locked to me. What should we do? Hey, let's call out. Ready? Okay, call out something now. Loud and clear. Penis. <laughs> Who... Who's there? No one heard you. You did it, Link. The monster's gone? Get me out of here. It's safe out there. Who are you? The fortune teller Astrid? Yes, that's right. My name is Astrid. I was sealed in here to hide from the monsters. I didn't foresee one thing. I can't open the door from the inside. I don't know who you are, but would you open it? No, you're, you're out of luck. What? How rude. If you help me, I'll give you whatever you want. Yes. Thank you, and good luck, because this will be tricky. Do you see the map hanging outside the door? That map is somehow the key to opening the door. Unfortunately, my only assistant, K.O., knows the secret of it. Okay, got it. So we have to find K.O. to learn the secret. Hold on, Astrid. We'll get you out of there as soon as possible. Um, but K.O. died. Or, like, K.O.'s gone. Like, we don't know. Mark the locations on the islands. Mark the locations of our island's three torches. Okay. So let's find the torches. It is really cool how you can write on the map and everything. I, I really I really like that um, um, aspect of it. All right, so where are the torches? Any torchers in chat? KO was KO'd. Most likely. Rest in peace. Pico Sevens. Oh, that's a spider. Okay. <laughs> Any of you guys have arachnophobia? Then, uh, sorry about this. What was your favorite Zelda game? Breath of the Wild, for sure. Alright, so there's one torch here. Okay. I'll just, I'll circle it. Okay. 
So it's really cool how you can write on the map. So the island's three torches. Um, any other torch over here? Oh, but we haven't gotten over this way. Hello. Hi, spider. You're dead. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. I love spiders. Dude, I hate spiders. They're the worst. They suck. They're awful. I wish they would just not exist. But we need them. Hello! Boing-oing! To open the summit gate, you need uh, what the fortune teller has to offer. What you do, whether you believe in her fortunes, however, is up to you. Yeah, so we need to find the... Uh, um, the torches. Specifically. Hey, it's a crow! Ah, I got you! Yeah, oh, there, there's, there's one here. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a torch right there. I found it. Okay. There's one right here. Um, oh, oh, I just went in a full circle. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> this is crow on crow violence. You know how it goes. You killed a sub. Yeah, I take that, you prime. Prime gamer. Okay, um, and then up here. A fallen adventurer. Look, Link. Oh, God, is that KO? Oh, no. Oh, God. That looks like KO. Oh, so Astrid's assistant died? Yikes. Brute force will get you nowhere. Ah, it's a ghost. Get him, Link. Ah, uh, wait. G give me some warning before you come at me. I must look really bad. I, I swear, I'm not a bad ghost. Well, to be honest, he doesn't really look like an evil ghost. <laughs> My name is KO. I used to work for Astrid, the fortune teller. Oh. Just look what's become of you, poor thing. If you believe in fate, then it's not so bad. I do feel much lighter. Wait, okay. So Astrid gets... Let's go over the timeline. Astrid, the fortune teller, gets trapped in her basement. And Ko probably goes searching for her. And then dies. And then decomposes. And then all the flesh is stripped from his body. And he's only left... To be a skeleton. How long... Does it take for you to fully decompose? To skeleton. About like one month to several years. So why is Astrid alive? Or sorry, rephrase. How is Astrid alive? Uh, on a graver concern, though, this is what's happened to Astrid. It haunts me. We just saw Astrid. She asked us to open the, uh, the door that locks her in. But what? So Miss Astrid is all right? Well, then, please open the door for me. I'll tell you the secret. The three torches on this island are the key to understanding. Keep that in mind, and you may be able to open the door. One torch is right here. Make note on your map, lest you forget. Please take care of Astrid. Okay. I, I, I have found all of the I have found all of the the torches down um okay so let's, let's go back now I guess and see if it see if we oh nice <laughs> nice easy I uh, love the choo-choos. The choo-choos are definitely a lot harder in this game than most Zelda games. But the controls are a little weird. But it's all within love, you know. Uh, okay, so we found it. Now let's go back to talk to Astrid and, and, and tell her the good news. I'm interested to see how this works on the Wii U. Are you emulating this? Yes, I am emulating this on my Wii U. As you can see here, my console, the Wii U. I want to clearly show that I am using Nintendo hardware for this. Like I always do. This is not... You see, it was lucky. I didn't actually have to have um, a, uh, 
um, a Zimbabwean device. Like, I didn't have to use my Zimbabwean Wii U or, like, my Zimbabwean DS. Like, I, I can actually use a, you know, a, a U.S.-based product. All right, can I talk to you now? Mark the locations on the of our island's two torches. So, here. Oopsies. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What if we just tapped? Oh, we could have just, like, guessed. I wish we did. That would have been so funny. Let's go. Touch the right places. And we got it. Hey, Astrid. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Uh, mommy, sorry. Uh, thank you for opening the door. I'm finally free to go outside again. You bested the monsters who guarded me. You are no ordinary travelers. May I ask your names? No. Oh, don't be modest. This is Link, and I'm Sigla. Uh, nice to meet you. Link, it evokes kindness and strength in the same breath. Lovely name. Now tell me, what brought you to our island? <laughs> Vacation. Vacation? I think not. It's a barren uh, island with a volcano. Yeah, okay, but like, you know, what do you think Iceland is, you know? You're here for far more important reasons, no? Uh, ship. Uh, Link is looking for his friend who was taken by the ghost ship. Astrid, we were hoping that you might have some insights. Is that so? The ghost ship came to our island a few days ago. Oh, that's why it was hidden away to escape its ruinous reach. Oh, so the ghost ship was here. Speaking of which, I haven't seen Kayo since then. Uh, okay. I think we know how Kayo died. How are we going to tell her? <laughs> I see. I sensed it. Just as I foresaw, but it was destiny. You see, I'm also a little wary of her um, predictions. Like, for example, you could be, you could tell me, hey, Point Crow, there was a huge earthquake in LA. And uh, I'd be like, yes, I foresaw it. Chat, tell me a number. Uh, tell me a number you're thinking of, right? Tell, tell it to me. 69, exactly as I predicted you would, you would write. Exactly as I predicted. Watch this. I'm going to say the number 4,372. And one of you guys are going to put it into chat. I, I just, I foresee. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I think, it, well, you know, the spe you got the spirit, you know. I think it's not a number, but we'll take it. Um, just I foresaw it was destiny. Well, life has little use for mourning, so Kayo thought. Shall I tell you your fortune? Yes. Please wait for me upstairs. If any others are with you, please bring them along with you to my chambers. Assemble yourselves, and I will join you after I make preparations. Hey, there's Lineback. All right. Tell us your, uh, tell us your fortune, you know? Confound it. You think that someone who sees the future would be on time. Where is Astrid? Let's get our fortunes told and be done with it. There she is. Greetings. Now, if everyone is here, can be, we can begin. Josh, thanks for the 11 months. Welcome back to the Murder God here on the stream. Open my eyes to the future. A sinister darkness. The mighty sea and the voice of sacred light. I see it. I shall speak. Listen with your hearts. You really want to find the ghost ship, Link. You must be ready to clash with the very darkness itself. Knowing that, do you still want to rescue Tetra? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's just, oh, man. I mean, oh, you know, it's been a, been a good run, Tetra, you know. It's been great. It's been awesome. Really? If that's the path you've chosen, so it shall be. What, Link? Treasure? I mean, Tetra. Uh, what about Tetra? You're playing the helper, right, Link? No, hey, she's screwed. No, stop joking around. Now say that you'll help Teltra, Link. No. Okay, fine, fine. Jeez. Okay, yes, yes. I believe in you all along, without a doubt. Now let's talk to Astrid. I foresaw your return. It is your fate, of course. 
You can't just like say like, oh, I'm going to drink my, uh, you know, my, my, uh, my, my, my drink. Oh, I foresaw that you were going to drink that. I foresaw every single one of you. Every single one of you would, would pop in my stream. I foresaw that. It is your fate, of course. Many trials still await you, however. Do you still plan on saving Tetra from the ghost ship? No. Turn your eyes from fate at your peril. Peril. Yes. Oh, very nice. The honesty in your eyes is crystal clear. <laughs> now make haste to the Temple of Fire. On the summit of this island. There, you must defeat the power of darkness that haunts that place. You will then find what you need to open the path that lies ahead of you. You have... You have it within you to alter our doomed course of events, Link. The light that seeks your help is growing faint. Please, hurry. The power of darkness. Hey, kid! I just remembered. I have to go polish the, the, the ship's rudder. Uh, see ya! Sheesh. What's with Lineback? Let's just let him be in, in hurry to the temple. Crazy. All right. So we are tasked um, in order to, you know, find the ghost ship. Save Tetra. We need to extinguish the evil on this island first. Um, going to the fire temple over here. So let's let's go let's go take a look. How how do we get up there? Um, let's see. We need to go down this way to the gates. Vexasaurus, thanks for the five gifted subs. Very very kind of you. I appreciate that a lot. And I hope uh, the people who got those subs as well. Um, say thank you. Logia, yeah, thanks for the three months. Canadian Riot, thanks for the two months. Pup Boy Min, thanks for the tier two for 16. Thank you. That's almost a year and a half. Crazy. Okay, we can reach the Temple of Fire at the peak through here. Come on, tap the tour and open it, Link. Tap. Nice. That was really far away, but we'll take it. Uh, and then we go this way. Hello. Goodbye. I don't want to face you. I, of course, saw you read this. Oh, my God. We have a fortune teller chat. What is that? Oh god. Oh, it's erupting. Look, the volcano's erupting! Watch out for falling rocks! Oh, whoopsies. There we go. Okay. So if we go up this way and, and around, we should be fine. Oh, these guys are tough. These guys are tough. There's a lot of them. Alright, we'll just walk through them. Does this game have a hero mode? Uh, no, but we don't need a hero mode. We, I mean, the reason why I, I don't need a hero mode is I've literally never taken damage in this game. Uh, so we're, we're currently playing through our damageless run, obviously. Yo, is that... Botas Sisters? What's going on? Yo! How's it going? How it be, how it do? Oh my lord. Is this, is this specific, wait, was it Andrea who raided or was it Alex? Oh, well, I, I, got I, I, Andrea? It was Andrea. What's up, Andrea? How's it going? Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. I hope you had a wonderful stream. What was Andrea up to? Uh, <laughs> I, I must have assumed, uh, well, all right. I saw the picture of Minx on Twitter. I gotta know what happened. Winning at chess. That sounds... Uh, yeah. Winning at chess, right? She was she was winning? I just want to make sure. Minx fell down the mountain. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, hey. If you guys aren't following uh, Andrea, uh, go, go do that. Please. She's hilarious. Um, I've, I've hung out with her a couple times now. Um, specifically, uh, the... Beyblade tournament recently, and I met her at the Stream Awards. She's pretty cool. Uh, I give a, a hard vouch, and if uh, you don't know who I am, I'm Point Crow, uh, and I'm I'm stupid. There you go. No, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, it's, the raids are always like, how do I? How do you introduce yourself? Like, hi, I'm Point Crow. I stream just like everybody else on Twitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, no, no. Um, I'm Point Crow. This is, uh, I'm playing Phantom Hourglass. It's a really old, um, it's a 15 year old Zelda game and I'm playing it for the, like a first full playthrough. Um, so I don't know. I hope you enjoy it. This is, this is the, how it looks, you know, 
but it's fun it's cool if you like it feel free to follow but if not then uh uh fuck you so <laughs> if not i didn't want you here anyways all right so we have to go through here right this is the entrance to the temple it, it okay never mind Wait, far. yo what's up yeah what'd you get in the mail come in is oh, isn't that so sick wait 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 that's a lego flower bouquet yeah what the hell it's so cute i'm so excited that's so sick it's for, it's for one of my friends from home they were like you said you wanted this so I got <gasps> it isn't that so cool what the hell I okay that's pretty it. awesome it's that's so pretty cool. awesome yeah, uh, are you gonna sure. break that one too? Like you broke my. I didn't break Lego it. Th it's broken. I didn't break it's it. It's literally broken. I didn't you do dropped it. it. I'm blaming Adam. We. Uh, I spent nine hours building a Mario. Here, I'll show you guys. No, no, I'll show you. I spent nine hours building this thing. Right, nine hours. It's like fully, like you know. It's, you, you can like you know put it down you know and, and 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 these fold up and everything and it goes it goes into the okay i i broke i broke the top okay anyways it like it does she she broke the bottom of it right here it doesn't it, it doesn't like close anymore right you can see it's like all weird Keeps breaking. There goes Yoshi. One second. <laughs> so uh, yeah, she and Adam broke it. I just want to put that out there for you guys, in case you were curious. <laughs> you can see him build on his 23 days live stream. Yeah, it's on Punkro uh, Punkro vods. Uh, it was on my uh, subathon. We were live for 24 days straight. And I got number 16 most subbed on Twitch of all time. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Oh, the mic's peaky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet. Ah! What's this? Nice, we got a red rupee while a meteor falls on us. Alright, so how do we how do we enter this? We we just had a mechanic where. Do I have to like Penis. Nice. Hey, you know, it's that's that's the solution. <laughs> what can I say? Now we can enter the temple. We did a link. Let's face up to the power of darkness. That sounds that sounds about right, right? You know. The temple of fire. All right. Ugh, so hot. I know. What can I say? Here, I'll make it full screen for you. Okay. Stupid joke. <laughs> oh no, there are flames everywhere. You better not touch them. Uh, don't go and burn yourself, Link. Hey, if you're coming from the Botez uh, stream, from from Andrea's stream, and uh, dude, this is the <laughs> the weirdest. I hope you enjoy. It is, uh, you know, it's. I'm just wholly and utterly myself, and I. Uh, I hope you. I hope you have fun with it. <laughs> All right. Um. This is. Um, I'm also playing on the Wii U, like legitimately. Like I'm playing like this. It is the worst, worst thing to play this on, but it's the only way I can actually capture it. All right. Let's go through the the fire temple. If you don't know the story so far, basically our girlfriend Zelda was uh, captured by the evil ghost ship and we are tasked with finding her and uh, getting her back. So we need to go across the land and well, we found this fire temple and we need to extinguish the darkness in this fire temple in order for us to uh, find uh, Zelda. Don't make haste. Make note um, of the one safe path. Okay, so this is a really cool mechanic here um, where we can actually draw on here on our map like that right 
pretty cool tetra zelda oh yeah that's in the intro of the <laughs> that's on the intro of the uh um uh whatchamacallit uh of of the game oh i kind of wait i kind of messed this up it's like this awesome oh, like it's an art stream i should be in the art category hey you're looking at the number one phantom hourglass streamer all right look at this number one on twitch nobody else is as popular as i am with phantom hourglass i have reached the top i've gotten here it's taken three years of hard dedication amazing streams and backbreaking work blood sweat and blood just so much blood oh my god please save me and i've become the one streamer the best streamer the top streamer Hmm, I wonder what that means. But let's make note of it. What's number 448? Oh, beside that? Oh, it's it's <laughs> this right here. That's Otto's um extension for the uh Twitch leaks. <laughs> when <t> when Twitch leaked everyone's uh um income for the past 2 years, um Automated made a uh a Chrome extension that put a name by everyone's uh, put put a number by everyone's names. And there was a funny time on Twitch for a while uh, where people were just like, they were like, don't refer to me uh, as Point Crow anymore. You may refer to me as number 448. Uh, and like you'd interact with somebody, you know, it's like, oh, you're number 1,304? Please don't speak unless you're spoken to. <laughs> a little bit outdated. It's about like a year old, but um, I just have never removed it. But I'm now I'm 447. Ludwig moved to uh, YouTube. Uh, go ahead. Copy that path or writing on your map. Cool. Uh, so we'll need that for probably later. Uh, I need to find a uh, key for that door. And then this is a, uh, a thing here. Anyways. I just thought that was like... Uh, it, it's just funny. So that's what 448 is. Remember when you found out 447 and 449 were verified on Twitter? That's true. I was like... I was, I was like... Dude... I, I, uh, we looked up number 447 and 449. I forget who they were. But they were both verified on Twitter, and I wasn't. And uh, this was after, I think, the 11th time that I applied for verification. Turns out my... Uh, um, hey, we got a small key. Okay, cool. Now we can go up. Um, <laughs> uh, it turns out I finally got it, like, you know, three months later. But still, it was really funny. I was like, come on. The verification saga of Twitter was wild. Okay, so we open this door, and now we follow the path that we just written down. So we go up here. Ah, and that's why. You see it. So I go off to the side here. And I go up. And to the right. Hey, Red Ruby. Why didn't you get it before? Um, because Twitter said that I wasn't notable. <laughs> I think all of you are notable. But not in the eyes of Twitter. Twitter really just said, fuck Point Crow. There we go. Nice. There we go. And then we have to probably activate all of these at once. So we circle. Nice. Don't, don't call me submissive and notable. Stop. That's, <laughs> that's. All right, let's go off to the side here. Uh, solve the puzzle. Uh, and then uh, we opened the entrance, or the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the staircase uh, to above. If you're playing on a DS, how are you seeing you play? Uh, I have a Wii U, and I have a capture card. Uh, if you don't know what a capture card is, it's like a, um, it, it like spoofs, basically. Can I jump this? I can't. It spoofs a uh, monitor, and then I can uh, show the monitor here. Robert Dog, thanks for the 22 months. Thank you. Um, welcome in. Hope you enjoy. Uh, hope you're having fun. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, it's red and blue. Right. So we go this way. Then we have to go all the way up and then around. I really like Zelda Dungeons because I feel like I, I, I get them. 
like really easily you know i, I get them like um uh um I, I feel like i get them fast like am i a good gamer no but i, I feel like i can do puzzles <laughs> now can i do chess is the next question uh the answer is no still no um i'm terrible at chess i've tried uh when chess was all over twitch um i was uh um taught by dina belenkaya who is a russian um uh, uh chess streamer she was a great teacher i was just stupid <laughs> uh my brain just couldn't handle all of the knowledge and then i uh lost every single game uh after that uh you got the boomerang hey we got a boomerang cool uh, do you know how to throw it? First, tap on the item icon and equip the boomerang. Cool. Then draw a line so it follows the path. Give it a try. All right. So here's the boomerang. Let's let's go. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if I do this. Oh, so you throw it and then can I pick up an item? Ah, uh, you can. That's oh, do I love the boomerang in Zelda games? Oh, you, but you can't hit the uh, the walls. I wonder if you can. I wonder if I can throw it like this. Oopsies. Let me test something out. So I wonder if I can throw it like this and then hit it the wall here and if it'll still hit the Like I wonder uh, yeah. So if I hit the wall and it comes back to me, will it still hit the uh the thing? It will not. Okay, you actually have to you actually have to do it. Draw a wiener. Thanks for the uh commentary, uh you 13 year old. Um but no, I'd actually have banned on Twitch. You can't draw penises. You literally you legitimately cannot draw penises on stream uh i would have done it already believe me <laughs> um but that's actually tos okay let's go here so we have fire fire um and then we have the the oh okay so these throw throw okay so we do that and we have to be fast about this so we have to dodge and then go boom and then take damage easy but yeah, if you enjoy the stream and uh, you like this crazy old Zelda content, um, feel free to follow the stream, you know? Um, it's always fun. Is this Phantom Hourglass, the video game named after the titular hero Phantom, known for his catchphrase, every Phantom has its hourglass? No, 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 no. This is uh, the uh, game named after, you know, uh, Zelda, who we are playing as, um, uh, which is after his catchphrase, you know, it's Phantom Hourglassing time very clearly but m understandably mistaken you know i i can get why uh it would be confusing boing boing there are no treasure chests on this floor oh okay so if we have those guys in here i keep doing that um they will tell us if uh we have any fan uh um treasure chests left over we're not going for 100 percent completion or anything like that oh i just trapped myself Oh, I trapped myself, but you know what we can do? I missed. Stop. Just ignore that I missed. I, I, okay, there we go. Um, we can do that. That's interesting. Cool. You should play the OG Zelda. I don't really like 2D Zelda games. I say that as I'm playing a 2D Zelda game, but this is more like 2.5D. I just don't like the, 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 the straight 2D stuff, which I'm, why, I'm glad they made uh, Link's Awakening on the Switch. Um, this weird, like, isometric thing. It was really cool. Well, not isometric, sorry. Um, it was really cool, like, shift, sort of realistic style. I, I, I liked it a lot. The, the chibi style was great. Okay, so we did this. Uh, we can go back now. So that was our, our way back. But this is new. So let's check this out. Dream Master, thanks for the 22 months. Appreciate that a lot. I'm glad you guys, I, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. All right, so I can't hit you. I think I have to hit you with... Um, yeah, okay, so you, I have to hit you out of the air with a boomerang. Cool. Okay, that's a, that's a cool uh, mechanic. Would you play the Oracle games? I don't know, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll see about it. I gotta play uh, Phantom Hourglass first. I did promise you guys I would play through this game. Um, and if we like it, then I'll play through Spirit Tracks, which is the sequel to Phantom Hourglass. I've never played that at all. Uh, okay, second floor. Oh, oh okay. Don't. I can just do this, right? Nice. Okay, so you can just kill him like that. Um, and then... Oh, hello. 
Oh, you have to beat those. Okay, so you have to beat the the, the bats with the boomerang. They they don't they don't um they don't die otherwise. Okay, good to know. Uh, so let's go over here. What's this? Can, I, can you pause? You can't pause the game at all. Let me save though. I haven't saved at all. Spirit Tracks is my favorite Zelda game. I like Breath of the Wild first, uh, personally, and then Wind Waker is my second. Um, fantastic game, otherwise though. In all ways. All right. So if I go here, this is my safe spot. I like throw a boomerang. No, I can I can jump though. You know. Was Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks first? Well, Spirit Tracks is the sequel to Phantom Hourglass. So, uh, um, Spirit Tracks was second. Can I, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. Awesome. So if you beat, oh, that's cool. So if you beat all three um, bats, you get a secret chest. That's decent. Inventory and menu to pause. The collection. Oh, good enough, good enough. Awesome. You played Majora's Mask? I did, yeah. It's on the VOD channel. So if you're ever curious if I've done something, played something, and it's not on the main channel of, like, Point Crow, um, then the VOD channel has all of my unedited streams. Cool. So that opens up. And now I can go over uh, back there and backtrack. Yeah. Uh, it has all the unedited streams uh, that I played. So I'll do, like, some, you know, Breath of the Wild mods. I'll, you know, do some randomizers. I'll, I'll do a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Uh, but sometimes... um. Uh, just it doesn't make it to the main channel. It's like not good enough of a video in my opinion where I'm like, okay I just do that. Oh my god. He's so smart. Let's go <laughs> Hey, small key. I'll take it Um, but yeah, uh, sometimes I'm just kind of like not you know Sometimes I just don't want to you know put something on the channel Maybe it's like not the best content in the world. Maybe I'm like, yeah, I think I could have made it better um, so I'll put it on the VOD channel of, like, my unedited stuff, so it'll always be there. You can actually see when I played the DLC of Breath of the Wild for the first time. And those unedited streams. It's really cool. I was a much different person back then. And I do cringe at myself. I mean, who doesn't? Let's be real. Um, but, um, if you want to see that, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Uh, alright, so we take the Octorok, we go this way. I love, I love Zelda games, because I love solving these puzzles. It's just so cool. Is this going to be on the main channel? Good question. Uh, maybe. It depends. So I never know if it's if something's going to be on the main channel until I actually finish it. So for example, Waiku Terror made a Doors of Doom mod for um, uh, Breath of the Wild, which was like uh, a weird, like, choose your own door, sort of like, how far can you get? 50-50 chance kind of, kind of style. And uh, initially I was like, yeah, this seems cool. I might make a video of it. And I played it and it was really fun. But I was like, it doesn't have that kick, you know? It doesn't have that, like, oomph uh, for my videos. There wasn't really a good narrative there. It was just me playing through the game. And while, you know, playthroughs of games were fun, it just, I don't know, it didn't have anything like, it didn't have that kick. <laughs> no, that makes sense, but yeah. New follow, love your YouTube videos. Thank you. Uh, appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the streams. What's your first console? My first console I ever owned was the Nintendo DS. Uh, and uh, the first game I ever owned was, um, uh, the first game I ever owned was, uh, Pokemon Fire Red. Oh, okay. So we have another, we have another candle. So, uh, you know how we do. Penis! Penis! Nice. Penis! <laughs> Sorry, th that one didn't work. Penis! Penis! There we go. Sorry, you gotta yell a little bit louder. Awesome, got it. My, if this does make it to the main channel, uh, the poor editor, it's 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 gonna be one of three people that, that edit this. The poor editor that will have to edit out all of my expletives. You'll love to see it. Okay, so I can't go back here because I don't have a, a key. But I did just unlock this new area, so let's go check it out. Um, I'm assuming we go here, and then we just do this, right? We have to do it all at once. What? It didn't do the first one? Are you serious? How does that make sense? Homeschool Wizard, thanks for the 21 months. Welcome back to the Murder Glad you're in the stream. Finn Lannis, thanks for the five months as well. Or you could just not say penis. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't know uh, we had a fucking coward in chat. Wait, how does that not... 
Is there a pattern? Oh, it probably has to be turned on, like... There's probably a pattern here on which, like, which one they have to be turned on. Probably a power. There's probably, like, a pattern here. Do a cross here. Do a cross again. The other way. Uh, let's do reverse. Oh, that's the first one, you know. Why can't you say F-A-G? Because that's a slur. Uh, fuck off. Um, okay, uh, let's do it the other way. No, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I gotta go back here with some new knowledge that I don't have. <laughs> During Pride Month? Dude, that's so funny. Especially. There it is. One, two, three, four. I thought I did that. All right, write it on your map. Right, right. I got to write it on my map. One, two, three, four. I got it. Look at that. Easy. Easy. All right. So you lose a heart, you take a heart. <laughs> oh, my God. Happy Pride Month, guys, by the way. Um, home school wizard, thanks to the 21, you know. I arrived just in time to say, uh, to hear Eric say penis over and over again. Hey, and you act like that's a bad thing. Two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, I got it. Shit. Uh, I think I wrote it down wrong. Also, this isn't how boomerangs work. <laughs> That's not, that's not how a boomerang works, by the way. Small key. Okay, cool. It's not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, you know. that's how you work if you believe. Oh, for sure? For sure? For real? For real? Spruce Cruise, thanks for the six months. Um, okay, so we got the keys. Now we can get it out this way. This is a uh, this is great. I like the Zelda dungeon. It's cool. I feel like I'm completing it pretty quickly too. Um, boing boing. The number of treasure chests is one. Oh, so there's one treasure chest left. It'll cost you twenty rupees. No, uh, I can find it myself. Uh, hey, cool. I'm assuming that's the boss key. It looks so ominous. Oh, I mean, there's a giant keyhole in it, and there's a big eye. So, I'm assuming. Not only that. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Go. All right, let me just. <laughs> let me just do that. Oh, you can carry fire with this. Oh, okay. That's probably going to be something uh, helpful later. That's probably going to be something really helpful. Good to know. Do you watch Shrek frequently? Yes, while I dab on my Among Us swag. And then I uh, I yell, we like Fortnite, um, 15 times before I go to bed. Oh. All right, let's do like that. Hey, I got both of them. Okay. I need to hurry up. No! Okay, that's fine. It happens. <laughs> Eric's next video is summoning uh, Shrek at 3 a.m. I don't understand those videos. Maybe I'm not in the target demographic, but, like, does anyone actively, like, believe, like, uh, we're calling McDonald's at 3 a.m. You'll never believe what happens. Are you playing the entire game in one stream? I'll try to play uh, a lot of it. I've only been streaming for about three hours, so got like another six to go. Yeah, they're pretty hot garbage. When all the three torches are lit, the path will be revealed. <laughs> you let me dabble them. <laughs> they're so lit, fam, in the 
uh, uh, lit fam, bro. God. Um, all right, so we need to light these up. How do we light these up? Oh, okay. And we did, and then we figured out that um, fire does travel with our boomerang earlier. Sick. Um, okay, so let's head. Oh, so it's over here. Can I jump this? I can. I just learned uh, uh, you cannot indeed jump that. Oh, but you can do that. Ah, smart. Let's go. Pretty neat. This is pretty cool. I wish I could look at chat more, but I have to like literally look up, down, up, down. It's 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 kind of jarring. It's a little weird. Uh, but this is really cool. I love Zelda diamonds, dude. Hey, you found the boss key. It's a huge, heavy key. Oh uh, wow! That oh oh, we have to carry the boss key. What? Let me throw it like that and then go around. Wait, it doesn't just go in your inventory. You have to literally carry it. Oh, that's wild. It is a really big key. I guess so. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, dude. That's a cool mechanic. And then we toss it in. Do the touchscreen controls feel good? I like them, actually. I really do. Um, it's it's a little weird on the on the Wii U. I'll be real with you. It's a little weird on the Wii U. But... Oh. Fourth floor. I'm assuming that yeah, this is the this is the area right before the boss. Oh, oh god. <laughs> it lit on fire. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Gotcha. I I'm gonna call it right now. There's going to be a time. Some doesn't it's not probably not right now, but later, sometime. I'm going to accidentally step into that blue light <laughs> and be teleported to the dungeon's entrance accidentally. It's going to happen. I promise you. This temple protects the spirit of power. Oh, cool. Um, all right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick uh, because I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, because, well, I've been talking a lot. Uh, and I don't want to, like, kill my voice. So, I will be right back. Give me, like, two or three minutes. Um, Julius Benedict, thanks for three months. Welcome back. Um, stop drinking. <laughs> I can't. She left me. No. Um, so, I'll be right back. Uh, peek or bounce while I'm back, uh, while I'm gone.
Yellow. Oh lord, he's coming. I'm back. Oh, that's nice. I like the I like the fire pit. That's great. That's awesome. Um, cool. Uh, great, cool, fun, and boss time it is. Boss time it is. Um, I was looking at uh, <laughs> I was uh, so I was you know, the business or whatever you know how it does, right? And uh, I open up the phone and I look at the comments on on the uh, um on the the post I made on the YouTube community page, and it, <laughs> they're all so nice. Um. There's the, uh, uh, I, I, we announced that on the 21st of June, um, I'm releasing a U2s. Um, if you don't know what a U2s is, it's a little figure of me, uh, with a little doodle and, and pointing and really cool. Um, yeah, here. I have the U2s right here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's on the 21st. You guys can grab it if you wanted. Um, but <laughs> it's like a lot, it, it's, it's really cool. A lot of people are like, whoa, that's so awesome. Anyways, this is stupid, but. Uh, okay, uh, let's do the uh, let's do the boss now. All right, so we made it all the way through the fire temple, which I love Zelda dungeons so much. They're so cool, um, and I I <laughs> whenever I do them, I feel so smart. Um, but it's just it's 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 a little nice like brain brain thing to to have me go because <laughs> uh, it's it's they're just fun. Uh, and figuring out the, the the penis puzzle like we did was really cool. But all right, Love Love Studios, thanks for the five months. Here we go. I can feel an evil presence lingering at the top of these stairs. Be careful. Okay, Link. Here we go. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Blaz, master of fire. Oh, okay. I'm assuming I have to hit all of them or something? And you collect them together. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you have to hit them or something? I don't know if that's how you do it. I, uh, oh, I hit them. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You do have to hit them. Okay, so you, you, you gather them all together, and then you and then you slice them. Or no, you, you keep gathering them together, and eventually they become uh, the the big the big guy again. And you oh, it's funny. You can't snipe them actually. Oh no, I have to hit them. Okay, I got this. Oh, you do have to hit. Okay, nice. Oh, hello. Okay, nice. Good so far, good so far. He's good at this. He's gaming. That's a cool mechanic. That's a really cool mechanic that you have to you have to bring in uh, like all three of them together. And so it looks like you do have to hit them. No, or, or you just you just do it enough where it happens. Yeah, I think you have to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, easy, dude. Oh, okay. We got we got hit, but that's fine. Oh, we did it. Let's go. Let's do it, dude. Whoa. So what? What is that? You just became like dirt. You used the wrong formula and still got it. Wait, what do you mean? I didn't figure it out. Wait, what do you what do you mean? Oh, whoa. What are you? Another fairy. I am Leaf, spirit of power. I serve the Ocean King. Wait, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So the three dudes had an ordering on the top of the map? <laughs> wait, wait, really? 
So sometimes it would, so when it wouldn't work, I just did the order wrong. <laughs> hey, you know, you don't need smarts when you can literally just brute force the puzzle. Easy. I am Leaf, spirit of power. I serve the Ocean King. I owe you my thanks for defeating the evil wizard. You broke the seal, so now I am free. Look, Link. It is the spirit of power, Leaf. Must be all what Astrid was talking about. Please help us. We need our, your strength. I was locked away with the Ocean King years ago. And now I can't feel the Ocean King's presence. I wonder what happened to him. If I come with you, maybe I can find out. If you need it, I will gladly lend a hand. Spirit of Power, Leaf, has joined your group. Yeah, so Leaf is a red fairy. So yeah, Leaf, red, and fire green. The the Yeah, the next... The confirmed next Pokemon games, actually. You should go tell Astrid. Okay, so we got the Spirit of Power. Let's go. <laughs> Isolated for the rest of my house while sick. Just yelled to my fiance, I'm not alone anymore. Point Crow streaming. Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, babe. <coughs> the date can wait. Point Crow's live. Yeah. Hey, we got a heart container. Increase your life by one and refilled your hearts. Not bad. All right. Let's, uh, um, this is so cool. We're at the heart of the volcano. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> Andromeda, thanks for the 10 months. Thank you. And Simkid, thanks for the 420 bits. Happy Thursday. The volcano has stopped erupting, Link. That's awesome. I bet it's because you defeated all of the monsters. Come on, let's go tell Astrid. All right, let's go tell Astrid that we got the spirit of power. Uh, Word Guy Studios, thanks for the four months. Welcome back to the murder. God, you are enjoying the stream. Four months is a long time. So Astrid is over here. Let's go tell her the good news. <coughs> What's up, Lineback? Hey, kid. So you were able to defeat all the monsters? Well, Astrid is waiting. Well done. You defeated the power of darkness, Link. Thus, you've broken the seal that imprisoned the spirit. You need to move ahead. And ultimately, you will need three spirits. Power, wisdom, and courage. We have the power one. When you have all three, you will possess the power to find the ghost ship. Now, two spirits remain, but their locations are veiled to me at the present. I see another clue for you to find the Temple of the Ocean King on Merkei. I see another clue for you to find in the temple. Ah, fuck. Bitch. Shit. Jack, Jack, Quest, and I'm getting really... Okay. <clears throat> I see another clue for you to find in the Temple of the Ocean King on Merkei. And to further your efforts, I give you this. May it help you in battle. The power gem. It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. But we're on the collection screen. All right, so we got one of those weird power things that we were looking at earlier. That's a spirit gem. There are many for each spirit. Find as many as you can. I see it that somewhere on the seas, you can raise a spirit's power for 10 gems. The light that seeks your aid grows weaker still. There's no time to lose. You actually did it. Now we're even closer to getting rich, Link. Hoo-ha, I'm excited. Dynamica, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. Thanks for the prime. Ah, uh, he's so self-centered. Well, I sense that man will prove to be an asset and not an anchor in time. I like that. That's great. I hope you're right. That's that's so prophetic. Um, let's quickly set sail back to Merkay Island, Link. All right, let's go back to the island and honestly go back to the Temple of the Ocean King because it seems like we have um, some new business there. There might be something else now that we have the power of the spirit of power. What's taking so long? Um, I was about to leave you here, Link. What, Linebeck? What are you going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding? Don't you suspect that the light that needs finding is really just a shiny treasure? I, I, no, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to Merkay Island. I haven't forgotten anything, have you? Let's be off. Uhaka, thanks for the 11 months. Thank you. Almost been a full year. Hey, but you've been following for over a year. So that's sick. 
Alrighty. Let's... Let's head back to Mercay Island. There she blows! Anchors away! But da -da -da. Never finished this game actually, but I was eight years old. Exactly the same thing as me. I got this game when I was nine. Uh, and um, never finished it. I barely started it when you think about it. 10-20% of the game I completed. So, and it's been so long, I, I forgot most of it. So, um, really cool to see it again. Uh, and I, uh, I'm enjoying it. Whoa, hello. That's a, that's a frog. It's so pretty. It's cool. Mars Marsh, thanks for the two months. Right, wait, 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 wait. These, these are the, the Wind Waker frogs, aren't they? Did you hit the tree yet? I did, yes. We're going on a trip in our favorite sailing ship to Mercay Island. Temple of the Ocean King. All right, let's go back to the temple, right? What is this game anyways? It is uh, Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. I'm assuming uh, there's a lot of my younger audience that does not know what this game is. So um, I hope you enjoy. This is a DS game uh, for uh, The Legend of Zelda. Uh, I, I believe it's been... I, I like to say that it's been forgotten um, because, well, it hasn't really gotten... It's it's on the virtual console for the um, the Wii U, but we haven't seen this game really. In well, the Wii U came out in fi like 15 years ago, right? No, 10 years ago. Something like that. No. Younger audience, thanks for making me feel old at 21. Well, I'm 24, so I'm I'm not I'm not I'm still young. I'm saying younger audience as in like you know, still, still uh, middle school or high school, you know. Um. Okay. Cool. It's a very overlooked game. Fantastic. I know a lot of uh, uh, people didn't like the Temple of the Ocean King. Because I do know the mechanic behind it. Um, but I know a lot of people didn't like the Temple of the Ocean King. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's why I, I stopped playing it as a child. But we're going to finish it. We're going to finish it. Or at least, you know, if, if I like it enough to want to finish it. And you guys like, enough, like it enough where you want me to play it and finish it. Then we will. But I'll be streaming for a while today. As long as I can. Temple of the Ocean King. Hey, wait, wait! If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? What? You're trying to put all the work on Link again? So if you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, kid. Uh, the temple is a little dangerous. Not a place for uh, kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? The old man. Dude, he's he's everywhere. He's he's always like the place where he need, like he, he want, like where we need him. Where it's like, oh, how do you get through? How do you get through? How do you get through? And then grandpa like pops up. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You were strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. Link. Get up on that altar. Okay, let's go to the altar. I <laughs> what? Hey, chat. Wow. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> chat, what's the name of the... What's the name of the game? <laughs> I wonder what this could be. Whoa. Is that the Phantom Hourglass? That's so pretty, though. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that sand? Whoa! Now, Link, take the hourglass! How does the old man know about all of this? This? Oh. That is so cool. <laughs> You got the Phantom Hourglass and uh, a case of the dizzies. <laughs> it's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand.
Now hold on to the legendary Phantom Hourglass, Link. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues of the spirit. <clears throat> uh, however, um, you are only safe as long as sand remains in the top of the hourglass. When all the sand is drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. I've got a jar of dirt. Guess what's inside it? It's an hourglass. Can't you just flip it all over again? No. Once the sand of ours is drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Ah, I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the phantom hourglass is called the sand of ours. The beast you defeated in the temple of fire held some grains of it. Oh, which is why it turned to dirt. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It is said to be made of force gems of the great spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat the monsters and collect their sand of ours. For the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The seed chart we found in this temple showed where to capture the find the captured spirit. If that's the case, the location of the other two spirits. Oh, I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in the temple. So we're going to get another seed chart, it looks like, if we go further deep in the temple, now with the phantom hourglass. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We've got a hurry, Link. How do you know so much, old man? Yeah, he's he knows all about this phantom hourglass. He knows exactly where to be. He knows, like, where to go about these sea charts. Like, what is, what's behind this old man? Hmm. That long story is not yet ready to surface, but all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship. That's right! A mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Hop to it, Link! Put some steam in your engines and get to exploring this temple, kid! Alright, thanks, Lineback. I'll go explore this temple alone, by myself, without you. <laughs> and the hero of winds. Yeah, like Wind Waker. This is, this is a direct sequel to Wind Waker. Is this going on YouTube? I get that question uh, every now and then. Um... It, I have a VOD channel, if you don't know. It's Point Crow VOD. Say hi to the VOD frogs. You're probably going to be watching this a couple days after this is fi uh, streamed. Uh, where all of my unedited streams go for. Uh, go to. And, uh, hey, if it's fun, it's going to be on the main channel. But don't worry too much about if it's making it to YouTube or whatever. You're on Twitch right now. You're watching the stream. Enjoy it while it's here. Cool. There it is, 10 minutes on the Phantom Hourglass. You can see it in the upper left corner here. How many minutes? So if I go out, out here, oh. Yeah, oh, okay. I just, I just said that to my Twitch chat. Is how long the Phantom Hourglass will provide within the curse, okay, cool. Find the next clue, the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape, okay, cool. That's it, without the sand, let's start, uh, let's see, whatever you, um, keep an eye on the time you have left. This is the door of power. I'll use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper into the temple. So yeah, if I go out here and we look at the upper left, the time starts going down. Oh. Timer's getting low. That's pretty cool. This is going to be anxiety inducing. I just know it. Here we go. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Anyone, anyone going to prime? Uh, okay, so we have to uh, solve this in like 10 minutes, basically. Okay. Oh, hello. What are you? Hey! It's an enemy. You know what to do. Wait, 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 Link. That, that evil, that curses temple is made of these monsters. Right. The skeleton that explained to us that there's some undefeatable monsters, phantoms, very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, all you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. That's where the phantoms are. So we have to sneak around like thieves. Uh, like what if we're seen? If they see you, Run straight for the safe zone. By safe zone, you mean the purple spaces? Yeah, the sand stopped moving the hourglass when we were in one. That's right, those purple tiles on the floors are safe zones. This temple curse makes a dangerous place. It's not all bad. 
Those safe zones remain as places that evil can't get to. So if a phantom spots you, just run to a safe zone. It's that easy. Right, Link? Yes. We got it. Let's go. Don't let a phantom see you. Let's go this way. Hello. Can I talk to you? Uh, lighting the torches should open the way. How am I supposed to light two of them? Interesting. Interesting. I know, has an entire conversation while not in the safe zone. I didn't want to bring that up, but I thought that was really funny. All right, so if I go this way, um, how are you supposed to light both of them? Are there, is there fire around here? Wait, there's no fire here, though. Oh, there's fire right there, though. Does this count? Can I do this? No. Wait, how do I light this thing? Is there like a thing up here? No. Oh, uh, stop there! You've been spotted! Uh, over here. You can't see me. Oh, uh, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. We're fine, guys. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Um, where are we supposed to go up here? Oh, like this? Nice. Oh, it's timed, though. Okay, like that, right? Awesome. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, dude, I'll get you. Oh, the timer. Right, we have nine minutes left. So, low quality. This was made on the DS. I hope it doesn't turn you off from uh, the game. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun game. It's cool. And just enjoy the stream while it is. Like this is this is an older game, you know. It was made uh, uh made in 2007. Okay, let's go up here. In here, and then we'll wait for the the phantom to to, to move fast. Yeah, it's so underrated. Exactly. Yeah. I wonder if I could like hit them with my boomer. 15 years ago? Yeah. This is 15 years ago. Yeah, wait, so can I can I hit you with a No, that just that just makes you look where it came from. Okay. Yeah, but there is an eye on your back. There is an eye on the back. Alright, I need you to turn around. I need this guy to turn around so we can go back up. Uh and see what we can do with that that uh that key in the upper left. Yeah, so we'll have you move down a little bit farther. I can run this, right? Hello? What are these red pots? Break a red pot to spill its magical contents on the floor. Stand in the puddle to conceal yourself. Oh. Oh, okay, that's smart. That's smart, magical contents. Let's go back. Eight minutes still, yikes. Cool. You got a small key. Use the key to open locked doors. Uh, touch the door to open it. You can only use it once. Okay, yeah, 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 we got that. Okay. Let's do this now. Got this. We got this. This is, this is, I know this is why, um, um, a bunch of, pe uh, a bunch of people stop playing this game. Because of, um, uh, the Temple of the Ocean King. Uh, it, it was, like, anxiety-inducing, and, like, a lot of people apparently didn't like this mechanic of, uh, the phantoms and everything. Oh, I see, I see a lot of, um, a lot of messages being deleted. Um, I don't know what the message contents are, but, uh, FYI, um, please do not spoil the game for me. If I haven't figured out a mechanic or I haven't done something, I don't want to know it. I want to figure it out for myself. It makes for, for, for some fun moments, you know? Uh, and it, 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 it prevents, you know, the stream just being like, hey, chat, now what do we do? You know? More fun that way. Great Symphonia, thanks for the two months. And while it might be a little bit, um, a little bit frustrating in the moment, overall, it makes the, uh, stream a more fun place, you know? And if you can't handle it, you can't handle it so much, uh, you can probably uh, end up going to the Discord uh, and mentioning it there. 
Um, that's totally okay. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, Discord.gg slash point crow. I got you guys. Uh, great, yeah, Great Symphonia. Thanks for the two months. Welcome back to the murder. Glad you enjoyed the stream. All right, so let's go back this way. It is a lot of waiting right now. That's because I don't want to get seen here. So I can open this now. And I can go down. Love it, beat it, won't backseat it. Okay. Stop me from enjoying so much. But what's awesome is that, uh, hey, you know, I will, uh, I'll, I'll play this for you guys. Okay. So, I'll get you. Okay. Oh, so he's moved now. Interesting. So, if we can get him to move from that spot. Yeah. So, all right. Something's happened there. All right. So, I'll have it you now. So, he goes this way, right? And then we'll grab you down here. Music's the, well, the worst. It freaks you out, doesn't it? Okay. So now I need to figure out what to do here. Uh, probably down this way. Yeah, here we go. Jeez. Nice. Yeah, eight minutes. <laughs> Manga, it's eight minutes. We're all good. Uh, so we'll go this way. Uh, anything up here? Nothing up here. Uh, we have this guy. Uh, hello. I should have watched the paths that the Phantom walked more carefully. They're patrolling the same areas again and again. Um, okay. So can I go up here? Oh, God! Ah! That was close. That was really close. Oh, okay. Oh, I just do this right. Awesome. Monkey, cool. Um, and then I can do this right here. Right, this is this is important. So I go here. And then the and then the, the phantom will come back. Or actually I can just probably run this way, right? Look, he's speed running this. And now I can go back here. That was a good uh that was a good run in there. I'll dig it. My soul just left my body. That was so close. <laughs> okay, okay. Um B13. The clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor. Just a little farther. Okay. Just a little farther. Father. A little farther, you know? Are you. Who knew that the contents of yellow pots restore time in the hourglass? If only had the hourglass, maybe things would have been different. Oh, how'd you know the human hourglass exists? Oh, plus 30 seconds. That's good. Nice. And I found a force gem. Take it away quietly. Oh, God. Okay. You got a, a triangle. I wonder what you're supposed to do with it. That's a force gem stolen by the Ocean King by the hands of evil. You'll need the power of force gems to open a door and delve deeper. But what are you supposed to do with this force gem? Oh, so we're supposed to gather three force gems and place them on these pedestals. Okay. Um, yeah, and then the door opens. Place all the force gems here and the door will open. Oh, so all you have to do is take the force gems there. Be careful. You'll move a lot slower when you're carrying a big force gem. If a phantom sees you and you don't think you can get away, don't be a hero. Drop the force gem and run to a safe zone. Right, Link? Look out for the phantoms and lug these force gems around. Ooh, cool, 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 cool. All right, so we'll go this way. Um, I will drop this. I will carry this, actually. Let's let's do this. Let's let's put, let's throw the, the thing right there, so we can always use it for later. The force gem. <laughs> Grab the Doritos chat. Yeah. So here's our first force gem that we got. We throw it in here. Hey, nice, nice. Okay, we got the first one. First one down. Doing spirit tracks. Uh, based on your playthrough today. If, if it goes well, if, if I like it, if you guys like it, then we'll play Spirit Tracks. Um, I'm a little concerned just because uh, the low graphics, you know, uh, puts off people. But um, it's a good game. 
Uh, Laverian Lady, thanks to the tier three for 25 months. Thanks for that tier three. Can we get some Picro? Um, um, sorry, actually, can, can, can we get some blankies? Thank you so much for that tier three subscription. Welcome back for 25 months. It's crazy. All right, I can't get that yet because there's some breakable walls. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I fucked up. I need to go back. Um, there was a there's a thing there. I messed up. Ooh, I got actually, I got another fourth screen. Okay. Um, so let's go this way. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, so I'm playing this basically so you guys don't have to. Um, it's a DS game. Um, it's really fun. I think you should play this um, Genuinely, however, it, it's it's off-putting for a lot of people based on like the mechanics and everything and a lot of people don't like the stylus thing I'd see it's I'd love to see a remaster of it. Um, I, I just don't know if Nintendo will do it, you know um, So, you know, let me let me do the puzzles. Let me explain it. Just enjoy have fun with it, you know uh, Well, well, well we can Okay, so where's this third forest gem? Is there a thing? I can maybe, like, walk up to here. Phantoms are sometimes carrying keys. What could I have done to take one? Can I, like, hit you? Oh, I can. Um. <laughs> um. Uh, okay, so you can't hit him to get the... Give me the key. Give me the key. You're literally standing on top of me right now. Give me your key. Okay. S somehow that worked. <laughs> so we got a little personal there, you know? But uh, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, nice. Uh, another force gem. Take it away quietly. Let's go. All right, so this is the last force gem that we got to take. Only put our lives on the line for this one, you know? It was actually really smart to put that, uh, uh, that, that, uh, safe's in there. All right, last one. Here we go. Yo, B Frost, thanks for the six months. Okay, there it is. That's the full Triforce. Let's see what's in here. Um, okay, so what is this? Um, I can't go, I can't go there, you know? There's no fog in this room. Look. Um, the hourglass has stopped and your life force isn't being drained. Okay, so this is a, a full safe zone. This place isn't cursed yet. I think we can finally relax. Yeah, so I don't have the uh, spirit of wisdom, I'm assuming this is? Um, yeah. So, we have the power, but we don't have uh, wisdom or courage. I don't know which one's which. Hey, we got free 30 seconds. Uh, so, oh, what's this? Hey, we got the Northwestern sea chart. We got another sea chart. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. That's where we want to go. Oh, it's all dirty. Penis. No. I tried. We got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea. Let's show line back. Ah, uh, and a return zone there. Cool, cool, cool. What's down here, though? Okay, that, that's just to go back out. Okay. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. And do that we shall. We've made it through the Temple of the Ocean King uh, for the second time now, I guess. First time, pretty cool, pretty decent. Cool strategies. All right, let's go up this way. Uh, oh, we have to return the line back. It's not, not, we don't need to go this way. Pretty cool though. Pretty neat. All right, let's let's head back. Uh, talk to line back. Show him the new sea chart that we just acquired. Uh, then uh, I guess we could explore like a, li a little bit on the way. We've been going kind of like direct, direct, direct. We could uh, stop by a little funky, funky island if you guys want. You know, in the meantime. Stop! Don't stop stealing my 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 rupees. There we go. 
little funky island, you know? First thing I hear when I join is curling pe penis. Yeah, I mean, you know, another stream. Another, another, uh, another day in the life of Point Crow. Stealing penis to like 2,000 people. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, you. What's up, Lineback? I got you a new C chart. Find the C chart? We did. Lineback, you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found the new C chart. Hey, let me see that. It's the chart we need to sail into the sea that's up north. We still know the location of the ghost ship. Well, blow me down to the ground. The chart's so dusty, I can't read it. Make yourself useful and clean up, will you, Link? Penis! 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 Another crest has appeared. I don't envy the editor that gets this. Oh, well, good morning. If it's your your, your morning, you know. Um, I, I wonder what Abby thinks of the next room. That's funny. Um, a chew. Hey, look. I mean, I knew it all along. I knew it was hidden there. I've always had a sixth sense for such things. We weren't falling for it, Linebeck. Uh, you didn't know that was there. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. So let's go get to that island. Yeah, right there. Tax evasion. Thanks for the five months. All right, let's go to the island. Once we set sail, I'll explain how we can go to the northwestern sea. Let's be off. And climb aboard. The open sea calls. Now that we have a new sea chart, let's explore the north. Uh, the sea chart in the northwestern sea covers a whole area north of here. So draw the course to the top of the chart so you see the northwestern sea. Mean ha, right? Right? All right. So uh, we could do that. Or we could head to Cannon Island and see what's up with that. Scrabby's Ark, thanks for two months. Let's do a little bit of a side quest here. Um, and see about it. Cannon Island. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. How are you guys enjoying the playthrough so far? How are you guys like Phantom Hourglass? Yo, okay, Cannon Island. You can't read it from here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Like... <laughs> Bomb Garden Edo's Garage. Okay. I can't go this way, but I can't go up here. Hey, nice to meet you. And not like I don't want to greet you, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not to talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is, got it right here, is a link. I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So I appreciate it if you didn't, you know, like shoot me with a slingshot. <laughs> Thanks for understanding. Uh, I may also need to have you sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, uh, see you around the sea, sir. Bye. Ooh, cool, cool. What's this? Edo's Garage. Hello there. You've come to Edo's Garage. That is Master Edo's shop. I'm Fuzo, his apprentice. Hey, you're alive. Unlike Ko. <laughs> and you? Oh, nice to meet you, Link. What? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready for sale yet. Master's working on one, though, so he's withdrawn to his workroom. He's gone and locked himself there until he's done concentrating. If you really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door is never locked, so it's your ticket to meet the master. I'll be happy to open the gate that leads to the rest of the island. Follow me. All right, so we got to go talk to the master in order for us to uh, acquire a cannon. Thanks, man. Watch yourself, little guy. There are monsters beyond the gate. Steal yourself! Really great. Glad it's a Legend of Zelda game for my first time here. Hell yeah. Glad you've been enjoying. Oh, what does this say? I love how you do this. You can't read it from there. Oh, sorry. Let me, let me go around. <laughs> let me read from here. Where be a fortune amid the beehives? What? Okay. 
Oh, there's bees. Bees. There's a fortune amid the beehives. Good enough. Gonna give you a gun for your boat? Yep, a gunboat. Hey, here we go. What's this? Ooh, a treasure map. Okay. It shows where the treasure lies at the bottom of the sea. Okay, we can do something with that later. Rockstar, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you for that. Nick Nintendo Wii, thanks for the uh, nine months. Hey, I'm playing on the Wii U here, uh, which is a very mediocre console. <laughs> Bomb Garden, straight up. Okay. Well, Zelda games have you not played yet? Mm, I think all of the 2D ones and Phantom Hourglass. Or sorry, and, and, and Spirit Tracks. I haven't finished Phantom Hourglass, though. Which we are doing uh, today. We are trying to finish it. Well, we're not trying to finish Phantom Hourglass. First bombs. Let's go. Um, I'm starting it today, though. Okay, so how do we get here? Um, can I do this? Okay. Uh, I need a bomb. Is this going to work? Hey, let's go. Let's go. You can play this on the Wii U. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Playing on the Wii U. Cool. So what's in here? A power gem. Awesome. Store it in the collection stream for now. We got a power gem. That'll be useful for later, it looks like. Can I move this? Maybe this is bombable. No, it is not. How do I get rid of this? Oh, you can throw it over the fence. Okay. Were you? I thought this was a DS game. It is a DS game, but I'm playing on the virtual console. Right now. So this is a uh, this is a DS game, but I am playing it on the Wii U. Um, I think I fucked up. Oh, uh, I fucked up. I need, I need to put this down farther. Right? And then to the side. Awesome. There we go. Oh, I need to put it up here. Wait, puzzles in a Zelda game? I know. Cringe. Weird. Crazy. Funky. Wild. I've never seen one before. And then we need to have a bomb this way. So we travel fast. We can reach there. And knock it down. Damn. Do you dislike the Wii? No, I like the Wii a lot. The Wii's a great system. The Wii U, however, so far with what how I played it. I don't know, man. The Wii U does not seem like a console I like. Bomb garden. There's a lot of bombs in the bomb garden. I mean, that makes sense, you know? Oh, wow. God damn, you're... You're growing a whole uh, arsenal here. An entire military. Wii U is a good Zelda hub. There's, I think, every single Zelda game on the Wii U. Am I in... I, I believe... I, I think that's correct. I think every single Zelda game is on the Wii U. No, which ones aren't? You have the 3DS games? I mean, like, uh, except for, like... No, you can get Ocarina, Ocarina of Time and, and Majora's Mask are on there. And I guess... Okay, the CDI games aren't, like, the main games. <laughs> CDI games... Oh, come on. I mean, the 3DS titles are, like, what? Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3DS? Oh, it's a link between worlds. That's what it is. And Triforce Heroes. Gotcha. I thought they were just talking about the remix. You're right. You're right. Um, okay. So we need to go to the back door over this way. Ooh. Yeah. So if we go this way, we should be good to go. I don't know why I feel compelled to beat all these enemies. I don't need to. But I Like, I literally just don't need to. I haven't played A Link Between Worlds. Is it good? Do you guys like it? Edo's Garage. Um, I don't have bombs, though. 
So if we can like take a bomb with us. Oh, oh, we just jumped down like this, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Not like that, though. Arguably the best 2D Zelda. Really? Would you say it's better than the... Um, the Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks? Oh, there's no way we make that. You. Definitely better than Spirit Tracks. Did you guys like Spirit Tracks? Like, like, what, what, what are your opinions on Spirit Tracks? Okay, so yes, it's just better than Spirit Tracks. Okay. So if I throw it over here and then over the fence. Oh, let's go. All right, solved it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Head over this way, and this is the back door. Awesome. Let's let's talk to the the cannon maker, Mr. Edo. Give me a cannon, my guy. Yes, yes, I'm the owner of the shop, Edo. What do you want? What? You demand a cannon? You impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons. For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then know what uh, that my cannons are works of explosive art, crafted from choice parts. So you better believe that you're gonna cough up big rupees for this one. Have your guts to hear how much? Yes. <laughs> Don't blame me if you load, uh, drop a load of rupees in my shop. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guy. I'm serious. I'm going to say it. It's going for a steep price of 50 rupees. You big enough to pony up 50 whole rupees. <gasps> oh, my gosh. 50 rupees? What? I mean, 50 rupees would buy you a whole lot of good life on this aisle. No one can blame you if you can't pay. Buy it? No, dude, I can't afford that. I thought so. I bet you could live your whole life without even touching 50 rupees. Fine. Fine, I'll buy it. What? Where'd you get 50 rupees from? Hey, we're a rich child, all right? You know, I, have, I got a small loan of 50 million rupees for my parents. Red Wan, thanks for the tier two for 14 months. Welcome back to the Murder Gotcha in the stream. Thanks for the tier two there. Doesn't matter, I guess. Just as long as you cough up the cash. Okay, take it. Got the cannon. Whoa. This is a part from Edo that fits on the deck of your ship. Next, I'm going to devise a salvage arm that can pull up treasure from the seafloor. Which is probably how we get the uh, the treasure maps from. Oh, cool. So if I go this way, do you have a salvage arm now? Um, no. Uh, come back in the future. Okay. I don't know how I'll ever financially recover from the 50 rupees I just spent on the, uh, on the cannon. That's crazy. Yo, special delivery. Watch out. Incoming. This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Link. Ahem. Here's what it says. To Link. You're getting this. I guess that my new postman is working out so far. So I'd like to make an unusual request. He's as good as new. He's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints, so I want to keep it that way. So be nice to the postman. <laughs> He's really a good kid uh, from the postmaster. Aw. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read it out loud. Anyway, sign here, will you? Who's Joe? Joe Mama. All right, let's get back to the, uh, we got, a, we got a cannon now, right? Yeah, do you want to set sail? Yes. Then get on board, full steam ahead. And now we have a cannon. Ah! Right? Oh, yo! We have a cannon now! I better show you how to handle that thing. Just tap anything you see and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast with it, kid. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, can we shoot the frog? Alright, 
trying to shoot the frog. It's not working. Okay, shoot the frog. Shoot the frog. It's not. I, I can't shoot the frog. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to shoot the frog. There we go. Oof, you got me. Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. Um, okay, let's go over here. Let's go to Beale Ship. Why are there frogs in the ocean? You know, frogs, you know. Actually, are frogs purely freshwater or are they saltwater too? Are there saltwater frogs? Just fresh. Frogs are not in the ocean. Then why would then then why was why did I see your mother at the beach? Bye. Okay, so what is this? Find anything you need. Your point total is one. Okay, so uh, we have this thing, and then we have this, too. A mermaid pro? I don't have that much money. I don't have money. I need more money. Meg's the green. Thanks for the three months. Maybe if we get that salvage arm. All right, let's go to the Northwestern Sea. Want to board the ship? No, wait, wait. I want, let's, 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 yeah. so we'll, we'll go up this way. Got some grass, easy money. Yeah, maybe, you know what, maybe, uh, maybe that's why you get grass when you, uh, you get, you get rupees when you cut grass. Because Nintendo's trying to instill in you that if you do mow the lawn on your summer days, you can earn a livable income. Uh, or a, or, or you can earn a disposable income. What? What? Madness, I tell you. Looks like we can't head up north that way, at least for the time being. Better try another route. What a pain. Enemy sighted. Oh, enemy en enemy was sighted. Okay. Let's go this way. Whoa. Through the rocks. Mobile delay is super bad today. Mobile delay is always really bad. Oh. Oh, we have to shoot the rocks. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I see. Okay, that makes sense. I understand. Oh, okay. Now we can go. What? Go. 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 Go, go! I was. Oh. What? What? Was I just caught on a rock or something? H hang on a moment, Link. Look. Uh. Oh, we've seen this before. Could that be the the? The ghost ship. It surfaced at last. The ghost ship. I can't believe we're laying eyes on it. Let's follow it. Let's go get our treasure. All right, turn to starboard. Let's go get to the ghost ship. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's going far. Where are you going, dude? Where are you going? Shoot it. I can't reach it. It's too far. Oh. Oh, wait. The fog? The fog's thickening. Careful now, Link. All right. We're looking around. I can't even see anything. The fog is simply too thick. My God. Where even is it? 
Go scuttle the blasted thing pronto. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right there. I can smell the wealth. I, I'm trying to shoot it. Oh shit, I, we still haven't caught up. It's right there. No? All right, well, at least we made it into the Northwestern Sea. Oh God, That's, okay, that was, that was a, right, we, that was a bomb barrel. What a cool song. Another barrel, okay. Where's it going? Yeah, okay. Why don't you blow the stupid fog away? Oh, can I just like, can I? No, I can't, I can't, okay. Where's it going? What the fog is ridiculous. What? What happened? We were chugging along, making headway there. I think maybe it would be the influence of the ghost ship. Now, what I hear about that, it's always surrounded by infernal fog, and that fog leads ships horribly astray. I think it's best that we feed a hasty retreat. Maybe somebody on the nearby islands know a way through this fog. So, oh, okay. The nearby island is down this way, right? Yeah, that would have been that would have been good to know earlier. Love this game though. Love this game. And hey, if you are liking the game and you're liking the stream and you checked out the stream and you're not following, uh, feel free to follow. Uh, we're getting close to half a half a million. Oh god, for the love of oh shit, we got one heart. We're, the ship's on fire. That's fine, right? Um, if you're not following the stream and. and everything uh feel free to follow the stream uh we're almost a uh, half a million followers on twitch which is uh, pretty cool if you ask me pretty cool what is that oh that's an island oh that looks like a giant monster i was a little freaked oh god oh god oh god hey there's a froggy Oh god. Um, everything's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> everything's okay. We're just, we're just a little, it's, we're just a little bit on fire. <laughs> Nothing a little uh, water can't fix, and there's plenty of it in the ocean. Whoa. Cool island here. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get to the crest uh, location on the chart unless we pass through that fog. What do we do? You want to ship out? No. Then go take care of things and let's ship out soon. Yeah, what's up? What's up? How are you? A new face. Welcome to Molita Island. Lots of island guys are off fishing, but you'll still find many of us are working here. We've seen the northern sea lately. Awful fog. And that ghost ship, it's scary. We're not thinking of the northwestern sea. You'll get the shivers. Shiver me, Timber! Not the ghost ship! Uh, up. All right, yeah. So let's let's head over this way. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Wayfarer's words: Number one, I tried sailing through the foggy passage. Tried and failed. I found myself sailing back. I abandoned my voyage. Yeah, this game is extremely underrated. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying. Cause I know I am. It's pretty cool. There we go. Actual top tier game. Hey, yo. Have you entered the foggy passage to the north? I have, yes. Uh, it seems like no matter what you do, you can't go through the fog. Yeah, but Romanos, who lives on the village edge, has a father who did go through it. No one dares try to figure it out, not since the ghost ship was seen in the fog. All right, so we got to go talk to that guy. Special delivery. Watch out, incoming. What's up? You got You got some mail for me? There's a letter from Astrid. Ahem. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your recent help. Try as I might to express my gratitude in words, I cannot do it justice. If there's anything I can do in return, please stop by the Isle of Ember. I'll take rupees. 
I know that someone of my modest means might have a little to offer, but I believe I can at least show you the way should you become lost. Sincerely, Astro. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Who reads someone's mail out loud? I mean, that's literally a felony. So, you know, he's reading my mail. Yo! Just look at the stone tablet. The guy who lives nearby, Romanos, had a father who scattered these years. They're less as a, a testament to the Isle of Gust. Uh, his travel to the Isle of Gust, which is, I'm assuming is where we need to go. I made my way through the fog of the North Sea where I spied the island. What a place! Ravaged by winds. How could I name it anything but the Isle of Gust? So we have the Isle of Ember and then the Isle of Gust next. Cool. What's over here? Azora scale. It's rare. It was dropped by Azora. Oh, cool. Ba -ra -ba -ba -da -da. Oh, okay. We have another one of these. Um, can I buy this? I cannot. I'm still poor. Fuck. You know, you know what? One way, one way to make me not be poor is prime. I'm kidding. That's that's a joke. You don't have to. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid joke. All right. Alright, we'll go over here and we'll talk to you. Well, give me rupees though first. If I destroy your entire uh, life savings, I will get some rupees, right? Oh, Alright, nice. Your, your garden will do. You want to sail to the island in the northwestern sea? My husband called that place the Isle of Gust. Okay, so you're the wife. You should talk about how he visited that island. My husband was once con content to be a fisherman until he left this place. He sought uncharted islands. At last... At least that's what he said when he finally left. He refused to work and said running, uh, ruining his boat by braving the northern fog repeatedly. The last time I saw him was over a year ago. My son Romanos knows, uh, my son Romanos, who's at home right now, might know a little more. Well, that boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved at his dad, I think. He might get upset if you mention the Isles of Gust. Oh. Yeah, I mean, his dad left him, you know, uh, for a voyage at sea. Need something, kid? What, you want to travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your own way, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Do it your way? Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage. All this endless blabbling about living with the lust of adventure. Can that food... Can that put food on the table? Can I make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way's a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese, that's the life. Yeah, Isle of Gust, don't even say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Oh. Wait, kid, come back. Uh, okay. What's up? Sorry to unload all of that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots about going on his own way to explore. And I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk uh, about getting through the fog and seeing the Isles of Gust. He said something about a specific route for getting through the foggy passage. But only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house which our dad used to escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might more, find more details in there, but it's dangerous to, it, but it's dangerous in there. So take care of yourself, kid. <laughs> guy looks sunburnt just a little bit. All right. Well, we'll find the passage here, but wow, this guy really just like left his whole family. Search of adventure. Young man, you mustn't go into the cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. Now be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, hey, I'm going to go on an adventure to find some milk. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to find it. Right, so if we go this way, we can find, uh, you know, Romanos' uh, journal of where he ended up, uh, you know, going with the... Uh, uh, or where he ended up going for the... Um, uh, to make it through the, the fog. Go this way. What is this? Whoa, what the hell are you? Uh, hello. Can I, can I, can I slash you? Yeah, no, okay. Alright, so I need you to, I need you to, like, make a, make a, like, come at me. And then I need to turn, uh, yeah, so, so, swing, and then I go behind you, right? Oh, no, 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 wait, what, can I do this? Wait, can I actually, can I do this? Ah, uh, I can! Let's go. Oh, dude, sick. That's a Zora? 
Is that really a Zora in this game? No shot. That's crazy. All right, kill the Octorox real quick. Nice. It takes uh, multiple hits to kill these enemies, which is fine. I'm not used to it. Though. How long are you playing for? As long as I feel like. As long as I feel like. As long as I want to. Uh, when I get tired of playing, then I'll stop. Sick. Oh. <gasps> this is uh, this is Romano's place. We got a shovel, okay? Tap in a spot to dig there. This must be a place that Romano's dad called his hideaway. I haven't seen any clues on how to get through the Poggy Passage. There's a book on the desk. Go and tap the book to read it. Okay, so we got a shovel, which is cool, but what does this say? My journal. I'm writing this while in a private space I call my hideaway. Whenever I'm there, I find myself utterly at peace. And I'll stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance under the spot where the lines draw between my stone tablets intersect. Oh, it's brilliant if I do say so myself. Oh, okay. So we need to find where the stone his stone tablets are. Draw a line and then that is where um yeah, here's here's a stone tablet. Uh draw a line and, and that's where the hideaway is. But the Isle of Gust was my uh was only one of my many islands beyond that foggy passage. I will see them all as my life's dream is the only way to live. All right, so this is uh, the location of one. We have to find, we already found the, we found two of them. I wonder if there's more though. Yo, is that Rochelle? Thanks for the six months. Yo, um, kind of rude that you didn't <laughs> use your prime. I, Stans came in here earlier and used his. So I'm very, uh, I thought I, I thought I was the one who got your prime, but no, that's, that's cool. That's that's cool, yeah. Um, GV Mimi, thanks for the two years. Two years and many more to go. You have my prime? Um, do I? Um, or did you just tier one? I'm sorry. You wanna scroll up? Rochelle, thanks for the gifted sub. That's still not a prime. I wanna call you out there. Uh, Alexandra, thanks for the uh, 14 months. Welcome back. Hope you're having a, a wonderful day. <laughs> But I'm gifting to shut you the uh, shut you the fuck up. No, no, I don't think you can. You see, I thought we were I thought we were friends. See, I see uh, you're giving your prime to somebody else. Wayfarer's words number four. What a discovery! On the Isle of Gust, a temple reached into the sky itself. But a temple to what? To whom? A curiosity must be satisfied. Anyways, thanks, thanks for the uh, thanks for the reset, Rochelle. Appreciate that. How many dungeons have we done? We've done one dungeon. One dungeon. Uh, we're currently yeah. So this is Phantom Hourglass. If you haven't played this game before, uh, hey, no worries. I'm playing it, so uh, well, you don't have to. Um, and I hope you enjoy um, what we got going on here. Currently, we are. Um, if you want the story so far, uh, Petra, um, our friend, um, who happens to be a girl. Uh, was captured by the evil ghost ship. And we are going around the world trying to find the ghost ship. Currently, uh, we have we've discovered that we need to find three pieces of light or three spirits, uh, one of power, courage, and wisdom uh, in order to locate where the ghost ship is. And uh, we have found the power uh, spirit. Uh, and on the way to get the next spirit, the blue one, I don't know which one it is, um, on, uh, on that... Um, uh, we found the ghost ship, uh, but it is uh, protected by a uh, fog. And so we are finding a way to deal with the fog, a, a passageway to get through the fog. And that's on this island. Um, and we have received a shovel. I know it's a groundbreaking tool that you never heard of. Um, can I use a shovel instead? Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and so in order to do that, we need to go to our map here and draw an intersection between these lines or these these, these um uh these tablets and wherever that is we need to dig there and that's a secret hideaway goes right here 
Looks like it is. Easy. Ah, there it is. There it is. And we got a treasure map too. Look at that, right up there. Shovels are indeed groundbreaking. That's that is true. Y yeah, yeah, actually, <laughs> that you're not wrong. <laughs> that was not intended. It's under my kilt. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate that. Welcome back to the Murder Collection of the stream. Love how they created what they got with the maps here. This is a great game. It's my son, Amanus. If you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway, which means you have also developed a desire to find your own way in life. Know that I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father, leaving you both behind in, a, in an adventure to find milk. So much of what, about the ways of the world that I don't understand, such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do its victims go? I've decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother. And please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. Embrace them. To my son, here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. Oh. We look at the sea chart here. Open this, and then we can draw on the sea chart on the way to get through the passage. That's pretty cool. And you can't brute force this. It looks like you really can't. There's a, there's a circle. We go around. I, I stop. Shut up, chat. Get it wrong. Nice. Look at those grandiose artistic talents. Absolutely beautiful. That was peculiarly... Peculiarly... Pecu that was perfect. That was perfect. All right. So now we know the way to get through the area. So we can go through the ghost ship and everything. There's a strange sun emblem on the door link. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door. Hmm. That didn't work. It's not opening. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. It's like, oh, no. There's a lock on this door. I wonder how to get through it. Why don't you touch it? What? What is that logic? There's something about this crest that tickles my memory. Why not draw this emblem on your map so you can remember it later on? Um, yeah, sure. Um, this emblem. It's the same, right? <laughs> right? I got it. That's like close enough. Awesome. All right, let's go talk to Romanos. We just we just found your father's hideaway. He want he had words for you. You found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monsters in there? I see. You've inspired me, kid. What drove my dad to go his own way like you? I might just join him and find out. Thanks, kid. And with that, we solved family trauma. You ever need a therapist? Call Link at 1-800-LINK. That's the, that's the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> what? You actually know how to reach the Northern Sea? The route was written on a map, was it? Please tell me you wrote it on our chart. Yes. How about we shove off then? The fog awaits. Um, I am hungry. Uh, good thing I have a spare taco right next to it. Got, got some Taco Bell right next to it. It's, uh... Oh, I could sail and eat. Oh, you're right. You're right. Save time. Awesome. Yep. Uh, Fargo waits. How's the uh, uh, volume, by the way? I, I like to do check-ins every now and then. Good, bad, ugly, amazing, beautiful, crazy, awful. Oh, wait. We're going to... Wait, it's still going. Shit. How do I... How do I... That's my pause screen. I'm a bit quiet. Okay. Does this game even relate to an hourglass? 
Yes, I play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It does relate to an hourglass. You just haven't seen the part of it that does. Um, later it will. I mean, you can see an hourglass on the, on the top screen. I can't eat. Um, let's see. Is there like a... Once again, still number one streamer. Number one streamer of all the streamers playing Phantom Hourglass. I'm the top. How far are you in the game? Not far at all. How far we have come. I mean, you have tacos. Sorry about that. Where's the enemy? Let me eat my taco in peace. Stop. I need, I need to eat my taco. Western Sea on the sea chart that we have. now so I can stream longer later. Alright. Sick. Alright, so I have to draw Oh sorry sorry sorry. I have to do the route here that we have here. Right. So let me draw this route. No, we have to take. To make it out of the fog. What a crazy route. There's like no way you'd be able to guess this. Like at all. Will you mail, sir? I will. And you know what? Enjoy. Enjoy, I shall. Enemy. There we go. Bye. Hey, it gave us a heart. Cool. There's another enemy. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Jesus. Stop being enemies. Maybe we can just be friends. You ever think about that? What does the Phantom Hourglass do? You'll see. It's not, uh, we're not around it yet. Um, but we are, uh, we're getting through. Um, it protects us, basically. Taco Thursday. There we go. So far, so good. Make sure we don't see any enemies. Is that a barrel? That's a bomb barrel. No, that was an enemy. Okay. <laughs> Oopsies. The first time playing an hourglass? It's not my first time playing, but it's the first time I'm going to be completing the game. We're doing a full playthrough of it. So, uh, if you like it, well, we'll play this. Basically, like, this is the test. This is the test deck. And then if, uh, you know, if uh, enough people like it, and if I like playing it, both, both factors I need to take in, in consideration. If so, then uh, we will continue playing the game. Um... I always do a first test stream of like, all right, let's let's try it out, let's try it out, and then uh, if it goes well, then we'll play it again next week. 
So, so far, so good. I like it a lot. And then, uh, if it goes even, uh, uh, oh, there we go. If it goes even, uh, you know, if it goes really well, then I'll even play Spirit Tracks. But so far, so good. Oh, dude, we got so many enemies here. Jeez. Hey, we're getting a lot of rupees, though. Oh, my God, we're rich. Yeah, addiction with this game, just like you had for Wind Waker. Wind Waker was a lot of fun. Wind Waker, I think, is my second favorite Zelda game, other than Breath of the Wild. Like, for sure. There we go. Great game, great game. Remember Peggle addictions? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not addicted to Peggle. Peggle is a is a Peggle is a regular ordinary game that uh you, you do not develop an addiction to. It's a game that you just play. Are you playing this? I find it I find it fascinating. Wait, what do you mean? Um, I'm playing on my Wii U. Let's keep going this way. And then we should be out of the fog. Hey, and we made it. There we go. Where to next, Navigator? Let's go to the Isle of Gust. And we're off. We made it through that horrible fog, finally. Just look at that sun again. It's so bright. Wow. So pretty. So amazing. Isle of Gust. On to the next spirit that we need to find. What a beautiful music. Ooh, there's the Isle of Gust. Ooh. Looks like there's a lot of uh, mounds of dirt that we can dig. Luckily, we have a shovel. <laughs> yeah, I, I love, I love the, uh, it's just a shovel. We made it to the island, but this is sure one gusty isle. Yep, surely this has to be the Isle of Gust. So, you little green parrot, how you go fly off in search of our next spirit? All right, so we uh, we have the spirit of power. Let's go to the get, get our second one. Beware of great winds. Hello. Uh, what's up, imp? Oh, wind. It is windy. So, we're going to get blown off if we don't start like walking the other way. Interesting. Yeah, so we, we started getting blown off there. We gotta be, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful while, uh, while heading down this, uh, island. Oop. Exactly like that. And don't want to fall off. It's cool. Start getting blown. Okay, stop. <laughs> get, get out of your minds. Nice. All right. Sweet all those guys. So yeah, so this is this seems to be like a like an overworld sort of puzzle esque place to get to the dungeon that we need to get to uh, for the Isle of Gust. So far, uh, so good. Nice. There's one. Oh god. Easy. Oh, and I can also just like these these aren't gonna move us. They're like the the, the the fences. A little windy. Just a tad. Hey, we got 600 rupees. Can't wait for 690. Am I right? All right, so what is this? Strong wind warning. Yeah. Oh, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> no way. There's wind in the Isle of Gust? No. That's crazy, dude. That's oh, nutty. All right, so let's take this and, and blow it over. Oh, God. Like that. Cool, cool, cool. That's oh, okay. So what's this? Oh, is this the oh, is this Romano's place? What do you have? Another another uh, treasure chest? Oh, we got a courage gem. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so what is what is this? Is this Romano? Is this 
Your, yeah, Wayfarer's Journal. You never know where the Wayfaring winds will take you next. After months upon this windy isle, I discovered a smaller island nearby. But my big discovery, the one that sets my heart aflutter, the mermaid. That's where my Wayfaring destiny takes me next. Oh, okay. Found a mermaid. Interesting. Which is over there. Oh, let's let's mark these on the seed chart though. We got a we got an X right here. X marks the spot. X marks the spot up here too. Cool. And then uh, and then we have mermaid. Let's write that down. A maiden? A maiden? He found a maiden? A mermaiden? Uh, all right. So let's go around this way. Nope. Oh, oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe we have to jump while the wind is blowing, actually. And that'll propel us farther. It will! Oh my god, he's smart. And I jump back off. Never mind, he's he's dumb. <laughs> I lied. You thought you, you thought, right, you know? It's one uh it's it is Juan Jose. Thanks for the uh three um months. Welcome back. So many three-month subs, so many two-month subs. It's always great to see people coming back from the subathon. I appreciate that a lot. Thanks for checking out the stream. Thanks for subbing to the stream. Uh, keeping everything going. And uh, hey, every 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 dollar you guys do uh, put towards the stream, every sub, all that stuff goes back towards content. You guys will start seeing uh, some of the stuff we got planned this week, uh, th this uh, um, this year. Pretty cool if you ask me. Um. Hey, I mean, it helps pay the developers for multiplayer. It helps pay the developers for uh, map rando, uh, among other things. And there's some uh, pieces of content that will be uh, um, there's some pieces of content that uh, you'll see at you know at the end of this year that are costing several six figures. Trust me, that's where it's all going. Zombie Sandwich, thanks for the three months. Shaylin, thanks for the nine months. Uh, and Starfishy EXE, thanks for the four months. Thank you. All right, so that's that's on the way back. So what's over here? Oh, what's going on, Imps? Yeah, so we're just trying to make our way right now over to the temple um, and doing all the puzzles on the way uh, while we can. Is that money, money? Hey, you know, some of these ideas... Uh, uh, cost a lot of money and uh i um i want to do them and so i was like you know what L let me let me uh let me do like a you know, common business tactic of uh i'm going to uh, so many imps i'm going to not spend uh, i'm not going to take any any money i don't take any profits from this year Ooh, a second one okay. i'm not gonna take any profits from this year and i am going to just put it all back towards streaming so Nice, a wisdom jab. Cool. On Discord, does it say you're streaming tomorrow? Does it? Pretty easy to check if you want to go to the Discord. You can check, uh, see it. Treasure map. Awesome. Cool. Another treasure chest. My guy, you can't just casually say you're dropping a few six figures. Yeah, I totally can. We got some. Uh, we got some really cool, cool stuff going on. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Um, is this where we're supposed to go? I can't I can't help but feel like it, it, we were supposed to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this. We haven't been here. So pretty neat. When you say no profits, does that count you for paying yourself for your time? Uh, I mean that. I mean it, it, it means that I specifically. Uh, pay off my rent and my food and all that stuff and everything that I would normally take home of like yeah I, I, you know stream made X amount of money today it's like no it's it's that's it's that's different. yo 100 rupees let's go we're rich oh. a little bit different um so we go this way no I guess that was just a little extra thing cool. Is Legend of Zelda your favorite series? Yeah, hell yeah, I love it. Okay. I think we have to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see it from the. Uh, 
assist. Assist, dude. Oh my god, I swear to god. I'm gonna scream. I am going to scream. No spoilers, right? No, yeah, no spoilers. I'll figure it out. Two. Ah! <laughs> Oh, can I can I just like Okay. We focus. There we go. Okay, you just gotta have patience. Well Danny, thanks for the prime for four months. Thank you. Hey, yeah, I, it does it it's okay if you don't <laughs> catch too many screens, you're totally fine. Uh hey, I'll, I'll always be here. All right, so we need to go up here, um, up to the top right here. So I need to figure out a way to get up there. I might be backtracking. I, I think I might actually be backtracking. This, this doesn't seem productive. This doesn't seem uh, this doesn't seem productive. Um, I could be mistaken. Oh, no, we haven't gone up here. Oh, wait, but this is... Okay. All right, well, that's the way back. Okay, well, we gotta go, we gotta go back again. Whoopsies. <laughs> uh, just ignore my backtracking. Uh, this is, this was, uh, I, I planned this all. This was, this was, uh, I meant to do this, by the way. So you're welcome, actually, for the more content. Where the fuck? Where in the fuck? Maybe I have to dig to find it. Like here? Here? No. Hmm. I'll go back out. Maybe I was maybe I was having so much fun, yeah, that I just wanted to do it all over again, you know? That's that's the that's when you think about it. That's when you know it's a good game. Well, you know that's like that. This is this is great. There's wind. Ah, there it is. Okay, I found it. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't taking into account my uh, surroundings. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Hell yeah. We're playing Spirit Tracks as well. If I like Phantom Hourglass, and if you guys really like Phantom Hourglass, um, then yeah, we'll play Spirit Tracks. Uh, okay, so there's this up here. Let's check this out. Always good to be on the high ground, um, because, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi said so. But then also because you can jump down uh, for the low ground for later. But yeah, for example, like that. I, I, can't, I can't get there, so it was actually smart to go back up this way. We have to do something here. He's a man of the people. Uh, what do you think those are, Link? All those spots on the ground looks like they were shoveled in with dirt. Yes! Conveniently, we have a shovel! No way! Oh my god, that's crazy. I can't believe it. We conveniently got a shovel, and now we can actually conveniently make uh, air, air things. Air clouds, or whatever you want to call them. Did you watch Obi-Wan? No, I didn't. Um, I, I just haven't had the time to yet. I... I have next to no time for anything anymore. Because um, when I'm not streaming, I'm, I'm working for YouTube stuff. I'm coordinating uh, editors. I'm, I'm doing a whole bunch of other things. So, I don't uh, Fortunately, not have too much time. Hey, got a power gem. So. It's fun, though. But uh, I work like 80 hours a week, so... Um, is that unhealthy? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a great question. I get asked a lot. I don't care to answer. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, oh, damn. Oh no, a choo-choo. What are we ever going to do? Let's see. Nope. Uh, do we go this way? I don't think so. Let me go back. Wait. How do I? 
Oh, maybe I have to go like this? No, wait, I'm confused. Do I shovel it back in or something? Oh, okay. I got that. I got it. I got it. Good thing uh, I didn't know you could do that. That's sick. Hey, and we got 100 rupees. 100. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Look at us go. Sick nasty. All right, so what is this? The hero must blow on the three sacred windmills to open the path forward. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Awesome. So where are the windmills? Uh, so the windmills are located. Um, uh, this one. This one. Good to know. Good to know. So we just like cover these up real quick. Shit. Yeah, so you have to blow on the windmills. Okay, cool. So what's this? Allurian, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Appreciate that. I hope uh, you are... Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying. And uh, if you got one of those gifted subs, hey, go say thank you to uh, Allurian. Gave it to you. Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead. So walk without a sound and bring in as little attention as possible. So these are like Moldugas. Uh, unless we can run. We can outrun them. Oh. oh, oh. Let's go. Boy, oing. The sand creatures devour whatever they find. So feed them bombs. You'll have a chance at survival. Ooh, good idea. Oh, what the hell? What the hell are these things? Oh, my God. But you can defeat them with bombs. Good to know. That's so cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. So there's a windmill over this way that we got to nab. Oh, but there's a fence there. Devin Prime, thanks for the prime. Love it. For nine months. Welcome back. It's like a full baby could have been born in that time that you've, you've, you've subbed to me. Kind of like a Molduga. Yeah, I just love it. Classic, you know how it works. You know how it is. Alright, so these are the windmills. But we need to specifically. Nope. We need to specifically get the windmills that uh, we've highlighted. Like, for example, the one right here. Ah, it's close. Okay. And then I need to I need to blow on these. Penis! Penis! Nice. Ah, oh, dang it. We got caught. That's fine. I feel like I opened stream at a bad time. Hey, Zoe, if you're the one editing this, uh, can you censor all the times that I say, Penis! There we go. That's all three. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So if we go down this way, what does this do for us? Uh, oh, good way to backtrack right here. Awesome. Oh, and this is the entrance to the temple. Oh, what is this? X marks the spot. Wait, did we already go over there, chat? I feel like we did. I could be wrong, though. What do we what do we get there? Yeah, okay. Sick. Oh, that gives me that gave me the windmill clue. Right, 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 right. Temple of wind. All right, we got our second temple now. Oh yeah. Um, all right, maybe I'm drinking too much water. I, I, I it's like the fourth bathroom break I'm taking. Um, but yeah, I will be right back.
Uh, Magitek, thanks for the six months. Welcome back to the murder. Glad you're in the stream. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back, okay? Uh, oh, let me save, too. I haven't saved at all. There you go. That'll be a wind-related item, right? Yeah, I mean, we got we got a, we got a shovel. That's wind-related, right? I'm back. Hello. Who are you? Who am I? What is life? Who are we? Who are you? What is everything? <laughs> Anyways, I'm back. Uh, uh, all right, you guys. Uh, you guys want to do? The Temple of Wind, second temple. We're doing two temples in one day. That's crazy. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right, we're finally inside, Link. Looks like we won't escape sudden gusts inside the temple either. Be careful. All right, here we go. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see how uh, we can uh, we can do this. We're numbers on the screen. You are numbers on the screen, but you're my numbers on the screen. <laughs> Aww. All right, okay, so we need to throw this right here. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. No, I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. All right, give me a second. Um, you know what they say? Fourth time's the charm, right? There we go. Easy. 
Easy, dude. All right, cool, cool, cool. I love Zelda dungeons. I, I particularly like Zelda dungeons a lot because they're uh, pretty intuitive, you know? You kind of just like, you, you kind of know what you're getting into, if that makes sense. Uh, does this make sense? It doesn't make sense to bring it farther across. Okay. Um, like, it, it's, it's, they're really intuitive. You know what you're getting into, and it's, like, really satisfying uh, uh, whenever you solve, like, a puzzle. Uh, so it's, like, for example, like, I'm probably not going to jump down these areas because you can't, right? So it's, like, you want to go down here. What are we uh, aiming for? Well, you can see that there's two uh, things here. You probably die from either uh, defeating all of the enemies or um, um, a different uh, mechanic. Like touch right there, right? That's a new uh, that's a new door that we haven't seen. So it's like it's like it's everything will make sense. And then there's always backtracking, right? Like so this will like bring us back to the beginning if we want to. Good game design. It's really good game design, especially with puzzles. And like all of the things that we've like um, it like it teaches you, right? Like mechanics early on that you'll use later. Um, and then like it, it keeps building on those mechanics, like the wind gusts initially, like you know. And it's like wind gusts. Oh, they blow you back. They blow you back. And you have to figure out that, oh, if you actually go with the wind gusts, it'll make you travel a little bit farther. Um, and, and then, like, you know, it's the same thing with the, the shovel, right? They teach you that you can uncover things with the shovel. And then you slowly learn that you can actually cover up things with the shovel because there's mounds of dirt. It's really creative. And I, it's, it's great game design. Um, that's how you do puzzles really well. Okay, this seems like a trap. I'll be real with you. It was not a trap. <laughs> Indeed, it was actually it was a good thing. Nice. Money, 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 money. Okay, so this is... Okay. There's sand here. I wonder why. Uh, what else is around here? Uh, so we have some uh, blowy guys. Cool. I'm assuming you're going to do the treasure chest thing? Yeah, cool. What? Uh, I do not want to see where it is, though. Zelda teaches you more than professors. I think Zelda is a fantastic game. Not, well, it's a fantastic franchise. Not because of uh, um, the story and everything, but I mean, it really helps you critically think a lot. All right, so we'll take uh, we'll take this guy because and, and it's so cool because you can see like you can tell that this guy's movable because of the ways uh, the the the, uh, the tiles on the floors and the tiles on the floors are important because well you see them um, a while ago when the game teaches that you can actually uh, do boxes. So it's really cool. A Zelda theme uh, brain age. That'd be funny. And, you know, they also teach you that you take damage when you fall. There we go. Nice. So this is all the way back. They learned economics through rupees, dead ass. <laughs> imagine, the, imagine like, oh, hey, guys. Um, uh, I'm going to invest into Boomerang Incorporated. The Choo Choo Jellies uh, shorted my stock. Oh no, what will happen? Uh, okay, so I'm assuming that there's probably some enemies in these rocks. Ah, uh, ha-ha! Okay, so it's a choo-choo jelly with um, a stone on it. So we probably have to blow it up before we can actually eat it. Yeah. Smart. Pretty cool. Is there a project about rubies and their IRL value? That's funny. Oh, okay, so we can just throw the bombs at the Choo Choo Jellies. We don't have to wait for them to like, actually blow up. Good enough. Oh, okay. If you get close to them, they'll wiggle. I have such shitty memories playing this game. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry about that. Uh, I hope you enjoy watching, though. Uh, you don't have to play it at all. It is a fun game, uh, at least, you know, so far. And I'm going to be beating it all. Uh, so if you guys want to see the end of the game, the story of the game, and you want to, you know, uh, play it yourself, but you're interested in the Zelda franchise, hey, this is a good place to stop by. Good place to be. Okay. A couple things here. So what does this say? Uh, when two wings flutter, the doors will swing wide. Okay, so I need to move this guy over here to over here. Okay. What does this do? Unlock some other keys. You'll have to hurt yourself with this game, especially with the Temple of the Ocean King, which apparently turned a lot of people off to playing this, uh, which is understandable. Uh, very, very understandable. Uh, I mean, like, hell yeah. I mean, like, hell, I probably, you know, 
I think I stopped playing this game like um, when I uh, started doing the Ocean King stuff. Because you have to return to it. You'll see it later, you know? But this game, when it came out when I was 12, I played this game like nonstop and I just got super burnt out. <laughs> I get that. I get that. That's why I uh, started playing other games like Pokemon or like Minecraft, um, uh, Peggle, everything else, right? Because I started getting a little bit burnt out with Breath of the Wild. You know, it's a fun game and all, but you, know, you, can, you can only do so much. Um, I, hell, I've had uh, some um, Breath of the Wild modders uh, come to me and they're like, hey, you know, I'd, I'd love to you know, mod some stuff for you. Uh, and I'm like, hey, I wish I could, I wish I could ask you to mod some stuff for me for Breath of the Wild. But I literally just either A, don't want to play uh, at the time, or B, just I've done so many things with it. I don't know if I have any more ideas. Hey, we got the Goron Amber. Let's go. So Breath of the Wild multiplayer should hold us off to um, Breath of the Wild 2. What's better, Zelda or Pokemon? You know, the better game. Oh, that's cool. The better game is the game you like to enjoy. You enjoy better, you know? Enjoy more. Some people like Pokemon more than Zelda. Some people like Mario more than Zelda. Some people like uh, Minecraft more than Mario, Zelda, Peggle, everything else combined. So the better game is the game you enjoy more. Um, okay, do I need to go over here anyways? Uh, I could, like, block this. Um... No, actually, I don't want to block this. I do want to block this one up here, though, I think. Because there's a little exit over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, oh, I fucked up. The little exit right there uh, that we want to go to. You're still addicted to Peggle? <laughs> um, I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, let's go this way. But, yeah, I feel bad that I can't reach out too, too, too much because it's, like, weird because I have to look down and then look up and then look down and then look up, you know? But it happens. Anyways, that's how we do it, right? And then we go this way, which is a new area of the dungeon. Uh, oh, and we actually go down. Cool. That's exactly where we wanted to go. We're doing neck stretches. I mean, I've been getting up uh, when I go to the bathroom. So I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, just so my voice doesn't, like, give out too much. Because, I mean, ta I imagine, like, I'm talking for, you know, it's been, what, five hours? Non-stop on stream? Nice. Denial is part of the healing process. Hey, all right. I'm not addicted to Peggle. Bro, what's your favorite weather? Um, it's whether or not I'm going to talk to your mother or, or not. I don't know. It was, it was, it was half-baked. I'll be real with you. Um, Sunny, I live in California. Specifically, LA. We, you know, weather, uh, like, you know, nature's cool and all, but... Uh, <laughs> nature's cool and all. Seasons are cool and all. Uh, just, uh, you know, I would prefer, I, I prefer, um, a, an, an environment that is pretty static and constant the entire time. Ah, uh, damn. Okay, I can't get that far. Ah, dang it. He doesn't go outside, he wouldn't know. True, though. True. What is this outside you speak of? Is that a new DLC? All right, so what is this? Uh, respect silence and tread quietly or else you'll rouse the slumberer. Right. And then this is all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Oh, I was... <laughs> That's funny. I was just going around just uh, dig like undigging all of them. I would have brute forced this if I didn't find the center. That's so funny. There, right there, and then right here. <laughs> For the original game? Oh, the game of life. Crazy. Ah, cringe. Imagine playing that li imagine playing that game? Hey, okay, so we did get the right one there. Cool. A lot of you guys here. All right, he's like right underneath me. Oh god! <laughs> Can't wait for the sequel. Yeah, if life's so good, where the fuck is life too? You know. Oh, that's just The Sims. 
Oh, wait. So isn't like Second Life like a like a like a MMO or something? Ooh, power jump. <laughs> maybe maybe Life 2 is just VR chat. Oh, that's you know what? Maybe that's actually not a good thing. <laughs> wait. Um um uh maybe I don't want a Life 2. Oh, okay. So we can go up and down. Okay. So I'll go down first. Seems like up is the way to go, but I'll, I'll try with down here. The metaverse, the sequel to life, dude. I never got the metaverse. I don't understand why they were trying to make it such a big deal. I'm like, dude, you're just recreating VR chat. Like VR chat exists. VR exists. I was, it's like so stupid. Um, beef. Okay, so this, we haven't been here yet. And up here. I'm assuming this is a shortcut. No, this is where we need to go. Right. This is one of the two um, wind things that we need to blow. There it is. Nice. There we go. And now we got to go the other direction, the other side. That makes sense. Yo, they turned VR chat into a real thing. I know, crazy, right? The mad, the mad men and women did it. They're like, what if we, what if we took VR chat? What if we actually made it real? I was like, you, you son of a, sons of bitches, you're crazy, and they did it anyways. Uh, yeah, we have to go this way. All right, so what is this? It's a weird area. Big rupee too. I can't get down there though. Do you get tired talking to a screen? Uh, I get tired. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, another treasure chest. Alright, we got the treasure chest. Cool. And then this is the second windmill, right? It is. Oh, I need to push this one. Cool, and we got both of them now. Grab this here. And that should open, um... Ooh, actually, I do not know exactly. Oh, the locked door on the second floor. I think that's where we need to go, right? Um, so if we go this way again, we should be fine to go. There's, I think there's a, a, a faster way of going, but this, this will work. Should really start using coffee. You mean drinking coffee? I mean, yeah, no, yeah, I drink coffee. I mean, you'll get tired if you, you know, stream for five hours straight playing a, playing a game, you know? Uh, talking to chat, trying to come up with entertainment things, so. I, I drink coffee, yeah. But, uh, after, after a while, I mean, obviously, like, there's gonna be parts where coffee doesn't work anymore. You're probably gonna get some sleep. Uh, go away, you know, all that fun jazz. So. <laughs> coffee. This is the adjective coffee. Yeah, okay, I, you know, I am, I am, I am, uh, I, I need to... I try not to drink coffee. I try not to because I have a very addictive personality. So any, any time that I, you know, I see coffee or, you know, like anytime I start regularly drinking coffee, it's just not good. Um, my, uh, my fixation, uh, for anything you want drugs. No, no, I'm not on fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> just cause I have, I have an addictive personality. doesn't mean I do like, Guys, yeah, I was actually, uh, uh, I, I was, I was over at the, the, the local grocery store and the guy was like, Hey, you want some, you want some luck to win? And I was like, yes, I'll take two. No, no, it just means that like, you know, um, uh, that, uh, if, if I like something, like I want it more and more and more, you know? Um, so I got to like curb my own personality of, of, okay. All in moderation, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and one of the ways I curb that is um, I eat a lot of sunflower seeds. So if, if I ever like start getting like, oh like coffee, coffee, whatever, like I'll, I'll buy a bag of sunflower seeds. And I'll have that. Like it's a good like fallback of like you know I'll take it. I don't know, it's like it's a weird thing. I don't know. It, it like helps. Cool, all right. We got this chest here. What is the item of the dungeon? Bombs! Let's go! You can hold up to 10 in your bomb bag. Awesome. 
All right, so we got the new uh, new items. So we have a shovel. All right, so we have a shovel, we have a boomerang, and we have bombs. Sick, nasty, dude. All right, cool. That means we can access the. Uh, um, there's a really there's a really cool place over here that we saw earlier. Uh, that we didn't have any uh, bomb flowers for. Yeah, if we go up here, we throw a bomb. Nice, there it is. And this has uh, oh, a new place. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. new place here. But um, if we go over this way, right? Isn't there a? I thought there was. Uh, I could be wrong. But maybe, maybe there's a secret spot. Maybe there's a, a secret, secret area. I see it. I never understood why people would drink coffee for the taste. Yeah, I mean, I like I like to. I mean, coffee's great, man. Like, tastes great. Cool. Okay. So now that we got rid of that, um, let's dig a hole. I'm digging a hole. I'm digging, digging a hole. Right here. Is this anything? It is not. But from what we saw earlier, there should be, like, a secret location. I didn't mean that. should be, like, a secret, like, thing over here. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. This game has mining in it? I know, crazy. Oh, let me grab this first. Should be like a secret spot here. Oh, yes! Oh my god, let's go! Hell yeah! 100 rupees! That's pretty cool. The very, very secret spot. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. All right. Um, now that we have this, though, we'll probably go over here. Where do we not have access to? Um, what's a what's a spot that we need to get access? Looks like not over here, right? So we had a, we had these. These these uh, activated a thing we got a key if we go all the way to the uh um right side yeah all the way over here or uh, all the way up, up here this, this should be it okay a little bit lost in this dungeon right now here nickelodeon's gonna make three animated avatar movies weren't they gonna make a netflix series and then that failed or at least they they tried to all right so i can throw that right let's go I don't know if that was uh, the intended strategy, but um, I did get that strat. Oh, okay. Oh, you. So I actually can't go down here. That wasn't the intended strat, I don't think. I can't. I can't fall down from there. Netflix series still coming. Oh, God. Not good. I can't jump down here, can I? I cannot. I'm trying to find out where to go from. Where to go, where to go, where to go. Um, we got the key, we went up there, we did the thing. But where did I find a peculiar spot that I did not understand how to access? Was it down here? Are you into anime? What is what is uh, an 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 anime? I don't understand what that is. An an anime. What is that? Anime. Anime. Is that how you pronounce it? An anime. I'm I'm, I'm backtracking here. I need to. Go, uh, The pie suit. Yeah, like it's like an enemy, an enemy. Not this bit again. What do you mean this bit? I don't understand. Not this bit again. It's not a bit. This is a very serious, very serious thing. I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm trying to understand my viewer's perspective here. But here you are making fun of me and the viewer. Not this bit again. Not just a fade. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, my gosh. Up here, up here, up here. Oh! There it is. There it is. Totally missed this spot. And that's the bomb. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> um, I'm assuming that's where the key is up here. Um, I do not know how to access it. Unless there is like a another hidden way of getting here, I do not understand. Um, but let me figure this out. Uh, we've already solved this. We've solved that. This is the entrance. This is essentially what the entrance is to the entire dungeon. So if we can go over this way, to the right, um, this way, we need to figure a way to get to the right side. Like over here. Um, and that is unknown to me currently. Oh! Maybe I actually do know. I lied. Maybe I think I do know. So if I actually go this way... Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, the other way. I need, I need to go to the right. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. I have uh, a... Um, um, a roommate named Abby who is rabid, though. So, you know. You have to, uh, if you enter our house, you have to get your rabies shots. Like your, your rabies vaccines? Just in case. But no, um, my mom has a uh, 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 Jolo, um, who is a, uh, the, the cutest goddamn dog you've ever seen in your life, entire life. Um, has too much energy for her own good. Uh, her name is Xena. And she's a Mexican hairless dog, uh, but has hair, so she's protected. Oh. Okay, so there was that over there. Can I not? Boing! There are no treasure chests on this floor. Okay, so I, I feel like I am missing something. What if I do this? It's gonna work? No, it's, 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 not, it's not the same. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How does one get How do you get I mean, you bomb this, obviously. one person who barks in this house and let you guys decide who bark 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 tried restarting the computer i'm not oh oh we haven't been here yet oh sick Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta put him down. He's defective. You're gonna take me out back? Okay. Here we go. Okay, awesome. And then now I do this. And that's why you have it. Because you have a limited amount of time, so this is how you get out. There it is. So it's, 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 you wanna get out, you don't wanna go in. I did the opposite, you know? That makes sense. Cool. And blank faces can hide truth as well as blemished ones. Study the walls carefully. Yeah, oh my god, I wonder which one I bombed. That's crazy. That's nuts, man. I wonder if only I knew. If only there was an indicator on the floor that determined where I would uh, uh, put something like this. Alright, that was pretty easy. That was pretty easy. <laughs> And then we touch this, we go through, and then we just need to get the bomb key, or the uh, the boss key, and we should be good to go. Nice. All 
right, we're getting so much money, dude. Easy. Oh, okay. And then and then we need to go put this down here because there's the uh, little indicator on the other side. Have you read Mice and Men? I have read of uh, I have read of Mice and Men. Yeah. Well, are you saying that you know I'm Lenny? You're George? You putting it like that? What game is this? Uh, if you read the title or the uh, category on stream, um, it is Phantom Hourglass. Whoa, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we need to place two bombs here. Click. And then both of them blow up. Hey, we got it. Let's go. Take flowers for point. That's a, such a sad short story. Or a sad novella. A sad novella. That's so sad, dude. Flowers for Algernon is, is like, is so sad. Why do you gotta do it like that? All right, here we go. You found the boss key. Awesome. All right, so I think we gotta go this way with a boss key, right? Yep. Then we go up here, we put it in, and that's the dungeon. Now on to the boss. Oh, I don't want to act out old yeller. <laughs> but also the spelling is awful. That's part of the, the, the reason why the spelling is awful in Flowers for Algernon is be, I won't say, it's a spoiler, um, but uh, it, there's a reason. <laughs> All right, cool. Big, huge gust of wind. Open it up. Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. There it is. God forbid Eric spoil classic literature. It's a good, it's a good read. Good read. All right, here's the boss. Second temple here. Whoa! What is this thing? Cyclox stirrer of winds. Careful, that bloated beast can summon cyclones. So this is this is one of the cases, right, where I got this. Like, I, I have this scene, right? Uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. This is so cool. All right, all right, here we go. Um, this is one. This is one of the few games I feel like that really made use of the entire uh, uh, DS mechanics. All right, so here's a cyclone here. So I put you up there, it blows up. Okay. So I want you to come over here. And above this cycle, it looks like. Oh, okay. But it changes. Nice! Let's go. Okay, nice. Okay, I got it, I got it. So we need to specifically, yeah, lead you over here, above this thing. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. Uh, yeah, so we lead you over the gusts of wind and it explodes you. And then we beat you. Okay, awesome. I got that. They want to know if this is gonna be a YouTube video. It doesn't really matter. Um, maybe, maybe not. It'll be on the bot channel though. If you want to watch back later. Here we go. Okay. I think we have to like one more time. Okay, over this way, over this way. I think I've got the hang of it. Oh, I missed. Ooh, and I dodged. That was a sick dodge though. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's go over this way. Oh, hey, there's some there's some uh, windy boys coming this way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Those are some windy boys. I wonder if I can use them. So like, yeah. Wait, wait, did I just damage you? Wait, I threw a bomb there and he ran through it. So he took some damage. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so I'll, I'll throw you this. This should work, right? Yeah, there it is. All right, last time. No, 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 no. Close stuff. All right, so over here. Nope, I missed. Wasn't close enough? Nah, I wasn't close enough. That's okay. I got two bombs left, but I uh, don't need more. 
Hey, there we go. Awesome. And there we go. That's the that's the second one. And he decays into the sands of hours. Putting more time into our phantom hourglass. Look, well, oh, there it is. So we had 10 minutes before. I wonder how much this adds. Oh. That's so cool. This is... Dude, what a phenomenal cutscene for a 2007 game. There we go. More sand for the phantom hourglass. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes have been added. We have two more minutes of leeway. It's hourglass in time. Oh, whoa. Another fairy? Purple. Blue. Purple. Blue. Purple. Blue. Blue fairy. So this is another fairy to go along with the fairy, the, the spirit of power. So you're Neri, the spirit of wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken and I am free. Look, Link. This time it's the spirit of wisdom, Neri. We came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere too. The spirit of power is with you. Of, of course I'll help. Second fairy down. We got one more to go. The spirit of wisdom, Neri, has joined your group. So now we've upgraded from one brain cell to two. <laughs> Find one more spirit to track down the ghost ship. Really cool arena. Just look, look how cool this is, man. Look how cool this is. Come on. Like, tell me this isn't like the, one of the most neat things you've seen. It just, it like, it just really like shows you scale. I don't know. I just, man, this is so cool. You got a heart container. Awesome. All right, cool. And let's go in to the blue portal. Awesome. Okay, so let's head back down. Uh, go talk to Linebeck and go back to the Temple of the Ocean King. Now that we have uh, the Spirit of Wisdom, we know exactly where to go, right? Uh, because there's the door uh, for the Spirit of Wisdom that we can unlock. They did really well with the two-screen stuff. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I wanted to, like, do this other, like, like uh, scene so you guys can see it. So it's not, like, all weird and everything. Really? No, I got this, guys. There we go. I'm back. Well, well, Link. You did all right, kid. Looks like you hauled in another spirit, huh? Uh, to the Temple of the Ocean King, then. Let's set sail. All aboard! Well, before we do that, actually, um, what about the guy looking for the mermaid? You guys remember that, right? Like, you know, uh, whatever his name was. He's looking for a mermaid. So I wanna I wanna talk to that man. See what's up with him. Or uh oh oh hello. Who are you? Pirates! 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 Hey, we sunk them, let's go. Maybe they're also in search for the mermaid. <laughs> don't say ps ps maiden come here. Don't don't do that. That's don't do that. <laughs> Yo, Adam, thanks for the 34 months. Neato! Nice shot, but why'd you have to shoot me like that? See you around the pond. Alright, see you, man. Oh, hey, if you keep keep uh, you know. Shooting this guy, you get more rupees. Sick. 
I'm rich. Anyways, Adam, thanks so much for the 34 months. Welcome back. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, wait, does that mean, you know what? Actually, you're welcome because you're paying me to be your friend. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll continue for another month. <laughs> uh, Calamity Gaming and Creating, thanks for the 15 months. All right, so this is New Island, uh, and this island's supposed to have a mermaid on it? The Wayfaring Island. Yeah, is this the guy? Like, the the father? There's a lot of snakes and stuff on this. Yeah, there's a house over here. So let's check this out. He's something with money. You paid him to work in here, so you can thank yourself. Tr true. Wait, so if I pay you and you're my friend, does that technically mean... Yeah, you just pay me to pay you for online research and affirmation. All right. Anyways, let's check out this old Wayfarer's house. All right, this is, uh, this is the... Oh, hey, you're alive. You're alive. This is a place for those who hunger for the romance of adventure. This is the Wayfaring Island, young man. Yeah, this is the, this is the father. Did you find it? Hey, now, you can tell me there's no secrets between men of adventure. We came to the distinct island in search of the elusive beast, the mythical creature that bewitches sailors from the waters of this island. You came in search of the mythical mermaid. No. What? Wayfarers must always be looking for adventure. I searched for the mythical creature, the mermaid. I sacrificed many of life's pleasures, friends, family, good snacks. I gave it all up in search for the mermaid. Take this pool, for example. <laughs> Sip. Link Legends. Thanks for continuing your gift, son. Although you had no choice, but you know. Cool that you uh, you got it though. That pool, for example, that is where the majestic creature will lounge once I capture her. <laughs> this pool costs a hefty fortune for a man who follows his wayfaring heart. D is it <laughs> just like mermaidenless behavior? You know, <laughs> you're young. With age, I've learned to approach life's quest with passion. So, young man, if you see a mermaid, you'll tell me right away, won't you? I don't think I will. That seems like you're going to capture her against your her will and put her into a tank for, you know, like, that's not... Yeah. We men of adventure must stick together. This toxic masculinity, you know? I don't know if I like this man. All right, yeah, I'll let you know. I will for sure let you know. Let's, uh... Um, well, we found your... Found that guy's father, you know? Am I the Ganon? R slash am I get the Ganondorf? I love that. All right, let's uh, let's go. Actually, let's check out what this is. What is what is that? What is that ship? I'm going this way, so let's go around. We'll check out that ship on the map. I don't know what it is. We'll see what it is though. We'll check it out. Uh, on the way back to uh, the uh, Ocean King, the Temple of the Ocean King. Bye. <laughs> uh, -da -da. Yeah. So if you shoot this continuously. Oh, there's. Wait. I got. I got. Stop. 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 Right, there we go. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Is there a Sploosh Kaboom minigame? There's no Sploosh Kaboom minigame when the entire game is the Sploosh Kaboom. When you think about it, right? Alright, so what is this ship over there? Alright, uh, I need to kill you first, and then I want to route to the ship. Let's go this way. Yeah, the traveler ship. Whatever that is. Dude, it's getting so close. There it is, get it. We got it. Yeah, hello. Want to board the ship? Let's board the ship. The Gorox, thanks for the four months. Love the name. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. You, you're wearing awfully familiar clothes. Hmm? Say, I can't help but notice you're dressed exactly like me. Are you a fan of mine? It's fan behavior, TVH. Ah ha Don't get me wrong, it doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. <laughs> I travel the world on the Prince of Red Line ship to save all things from evil. 
the king it's the king of red line are you an imposter what yes you heard me right i'm what you'd call a hero do you want my autograph sure oh no i'm afraid of running around. oh i'm afraid i've run out of autograph paper uh, i'm afraid i've run out of autograph paper i'm so very sorry I know this can't take the place of my autograph, but, well, based on the way you're dressed, I'm sure you're quite an admirer. Don't worry, I understand. I'll make you my apprentice, a hero's apprentice. What more could a, a fan hope for? Uh, lots more, you know? <laughs> Probably a lot more. Very good. As decided then, what's your name, kid? Link, you're now a hero's apprentice. Study and learn the dashing ways of the hero and remember to stay cool. <laughs> Say, uh, want me to train you in the art of swords and tips? Sure. Very well. You and I will meet in battle. I'll check to see how much skill you have. Kacha! Come at me with your finest moves. <laughs> Owie! The, the, that didn't count. I went too easy on you. L let's fight again. <laughs> that, that's it. Huh? <laughs> let's leave it at that for the day. Your skills will never improve if you overdo it. I must admit, the fact that you've made a contact a little five times, that's an appropriate skill for the apprentice of a hero. Keep it up, my apprentice Link. Put your hand out for a second. Hey, we got some gore on amber. That's the gift and on the sweat and tears you shed in battle. Something big might come in handy at a later time. Your current best is five hits. Your title's officially apprentice. Stay dashing, stay ignorant, and, yeah, and keep your cool. All right, sounds good. We'll probably come back later. I'd say fan behavior, to be honest, but honestly, I mean, I guess we're the fan. Eric, you want me to teach you in the ways of streaming? <laughs> yeah, first off, you know, uh, whenever you get a Prime sub. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, let's head back to Merkay Island. Where we will go to the uh, Temple of the Ocean King. <laughs> I just, I just, dude, decimated that seagull. I didn't even see what came to him. I read Poinko's shirt is towards. Towards. Yeah, towards work. <laughs> work it towards. Work it. Way to ruin the gift I got him, chat. Yeah, I can't have anything nice. She can't have anything nice. What's in here? Oh, what's going on, dude? Come on in. You found yourself the shipyard. Want to customize the ship? parts you got the time um do we have any ship parts we do not have any ship parts hey we can customize the ship that's pretty cool stop in any time uh i'll customize your ship totally free wow we got the tropical prow ship part uh yeah i kind of like that let's do it i always think of uh, star wars i always think it's star wars okay uh so the prow Normal, that's a chimney. Is it this? Tropical prow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, look at it go. Uh, beautiful, right? Done swapping out your parts? Stop by any time you want to change them. Cool. Just dripping, you know? All right, so let's go back to... Uh, yeah, let's head on over to the uh, uh, Temple of the Ocean King. See where we can go from here. Can't sleep especially after that new one piece chapter. I have not read it yet, so please don't spoil. Cool. So let's go over here. Um, plus, there's people in uh, chat that have not read uh, One Piece either, which I really, really think you should. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I talk about it way too much, but um, I think uh, I think a lot of you guys will regret not reading it. And you will be spoiled in the future. Especially when the anime about a certain chapter comes up.
Okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, boing! Three Fallen Adventurers, Slumber Forever within the... Three Fallen Adventurers, Slumber Forever within the Temple of the Ocean King. They have fallen, but you can seek their advice on how to survive the temple. That's true. We, we did do that. What's this? Uh, a power gem. Awesome. We got more power gems. So once we collect 10, they said, we can do a bunch of stuff. So. Cool. All right. Temple of the Ocean King again. So this is one of the reasons why a lot of people didn't like Phantom Hourglass when it started, when it came out. Um, is because you have to go back to the Temple of Ocean. You have to go back to the Temple of Ocean. You have to keep going, going back, you know? And a, a lot of people find that as, um, they don't like the backtracking part. Here we go. 12 minutes now. Because now we have to go back to exactly where we came from before, right? We have to do the puzzles again. We do get shortcuts, yeah. We do get shortcuts. Um, but now we have to, once again, do this. Like, this whole puzzle here. I mean, we know how to do it, like, very obviously, very clearly. Um, but, you know. Um, it's, uh... It's a lot. Yeah. It's, I mean, even with shortcuts, it's still, like, extremely tedious. It's, like, understandable, you know? But it's, like, very tedious. So, you'll see this, right? So, you see this right here? This is a shortcut that you get. But still, you have to go through it, you know? Mendari, thanks for the like five months. So, while this did, like, help out, like, a lot, it's, like, you know, it's still, like, a bit to do. Was the first Zelda game I played? Yeah, yeah, same. Um, I haven't finished it, ever. I think this is, like, the maximum where I got to. Maybe a little bit farther. Um beforehand you know but i don't really remember much okay right so we have to do this and then we have to be like yo hey whoa this is so cool i have you now oh my god do this and then we grab the uh thing but as you can see it's like it's like a lot you know it's like this like we've already seen this puzzle and uh i understand that like you know a lot of people are like oh god we, we've already you know you've already seen it we've already done it um but that's kind of the nature of it you know it, that's that's one of the reasons I see what they were trying to do with Phantom Hourglass, where they're like trying to like you're, you know you only have a certain amount of time you have 11, 11 minutes and thirteen seconds, oh boy will you make it you know, that whole kind of thing, um, but it, it it it's replaying the same thing over and over again does get a little bit tiring, um, uh, for people, so you know it, it it's kind of like you know they wanted you to set your best time do that whole thing but. They need to pad the game out because the DS is a limited space. That probably too, honestly. I, I don't doubt that. And I'm assuming they made uh, spirit tracks in, in in the in the vein that they wanted to initially. Let me let me just do this real quick. <laughs> don't mind me. Just going past the phantom. Inusabu, thanks for the tier one. Yeah, when I was younger, man, dude, I'll tell you right now, like the, 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 uh, um, the phantoms just, they freaked me out. Oh, so, okay. Here's another shortcut that we found, um, uh, that I just found here. Um, uh, we have, whoopies. Um, we have the, uh, bombs right there. So we, we have a bombable area. Uh, that we can just go through right here. Uh, so we can go there, go back, and then get here. So it is a shortcut, but still. I was a uh, Pokemon Bushido. It's awesome, but I had a dip. It was fun. Check out the VOD uh, when it comes out on the channel soon. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, and then do we have to... I don't know if I have to do the... Uh... Go back. Oopsies. I don't know if I have to... Do I have to do the... Um... Panels again? I, 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 don't, I don't think I do. I do! <gasps> that sucks. Right, I, I still have to, I have to do the, um, Triforce stuff, once again. Like this stuff? You go outside. That's a great question. Um, I'll answer that. Uh, I, not really. Um, not too much. I wish I did more, honestly. But, um, it's, it's nice and, um, and I, I, the, the issue I have with my life, generally, <laughs> 
um, is that I like working. I like what I do so much. But to the point where it starts to become like a little bit of like a, you know, like a detriment or like other aspects of my life. Where like I'll spend, you know, I'll spend happily like you know, 80 plus hours a week, like working on, uh, working on videos, planning streams. Cause I love my job. It's so fun. Like this is, this is like a dream. Um, I, 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 there's nothing I would rather do than this for the rest of my life, you know? Um, but they tell them a, the foolproof way to get you to leave the house. What is the foolproof way to get me to leave the house? I actually don't know. But I have fun with it, you know? Yeah, wait, wait. How does Abby, what's the, what's the foolproof way to get me out of the house? Eric, do you want to get ice cream? Oh, true. Hey, ice cream's great, okay? So sue me. Alright, let me uh let me get this real quick. Ah shoot! Ah dang it! Ah the time. Right in the back. Hey, it only took a little bit of time. We've been saving a lot of uh, time with, like, backtracking and everything here. So we should be still okay, but, you know. What kind of ice cream? I like vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite ice cream. Bar none. It is, it is fantastic. Basic? Good. Let's go down here. We have the key, so let's get the uh, let's get the force gem here. It's good. It, it, vanilla goes with like a lot of things, you know. All right. Um, I will wait here for the phantoms to go. Pistachio almond's great, you know. You're not wrong. That or like mango sorbet. Dude, mango sorbet. Can we talk about that? Is there any possible way for me to convince you to try out the Shantae series? Um, no. I think it has to be independent. As in, like, I'll have to figure, like, if... I'll check it out. I'll, ch I'll check it out. Possible, you know. Uh, but only if I like it. There's there's a lot of factors that go into it. I'll check it out. I'll just judge it. Judgment. Cool. Okay. So now we've made it to... Right. This is the this is the place where we made it last time. So we we have eight uh, eight minutes and fifty eight seconds left on our clock, but we made it back here. Okay, cool. Um, and if if I do a uh, um, if I make a YouTube video of this, we'll probably just cut out. Like I'll probably just be like, all right, let's head back to the place in the dungeon, right, that we were last time, and then you know we cut to that so we don't have to like watch it, you know. If that, if that, hopefully that makes, you know, so like we, like if I make a video of this, we won't have to like go through it all over again. Cool. So we made it back to the place we were, right? It's the spirit of the temple's turn this time. Our spirit of wisdom, right? It's the door of wisdom. I will use my powers to open it. Are you ready? Yep. All right. So this is where we were last time. Uh, and let's open up the new door that we saw earlier because we have, well, the spirit of wisdom. Okay. Here we go. New part of the Temple of the Ocean King. Whoa, what is this? Yeah, what is that thing? That is so creepy. Ew, eyeball monsters. Allow me to explain, those are phantom eyes. They act as extra eyes for the phantoms. If one of them sees you, yeah, what happens if one of them sees you? The phantoms will find you, and then it only gets worse, so be cautious. However, unlike these phantoms, these creatures can be defeated. Find them on the map. Okay, so we can defeat them. I get it. So you have to find a way to hit them before they see you. Okay. Um, so let's go down this way. Okay. And then over here. So there's a phantom thing. So if I go like this. 
But I can't I can't go farther, right? Like I can't go past this? No, I can't. But I can do this. So I can do that, and then I can do the eye like that. And then hit it. Okay, so now the phantom eye won't see me anymore. Ooh, okay. Good to know, good to know. And some of these eyes move too. Okay, okay. This one seems to Oh! What is that? Oh, wait, if an eye sees you, it spawns phantoms? What? I like when Eric plays DS games so we can smell his hair. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Nandre. I appreciate you. Hey, I gotta look down, right? I gotta- I can't- It's- it's hard. Chat, would you prefer this screen or that screen? For- for the Ocean King stuff. This one? Okay. Shit. I messed up. There we go. All right, nice. Awesome. Oh, and we got a chest for beating all of them. That's cool. That's interesting. So if you beat all of the eyes, you get something special. Good to know. Good to know. Um, and then see this. Oh, run away. Oh, God. Um, oh, wait. The, is the chest like a... Yeah, what is this? Is it like rupees or something? Oh, we got a power gem, though. I'll take the power gem. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So next, we gotta figure out. Uh, uh, we we need to figure out how to get. We know where to go. So we need. We have the uh, door, uh, which is uh, this is the door right here that we need to go to. And we need to get this key and get it to the door somehow. We'll figure it out. Okay. This is cool. Uh, so how do we get past this? Um, do we have a item here? Right. Uh, oh, there's a bombable wall here. I was wondering why we didn't use many bombs. All right, so bombable wall. I have seven minutes and thirty seconds left on my um, on my thing. Okay, we have this. Okay, I will run. I think I can get it. Nice. There we go. Watch your blindfolded Zelda playthrough. Insane talent, my guy. Thank you. Uh, I pride myself in my skills in memorization. So, uh, all right. So now we got the small key. All right. So this is this is one room down. Looks like. What do you say? Use your items wisely to earn more time. If you come through here again, talk to me. I will teach you something valuable for stopping. So we, we got to remember to talk to that god again next time we are uh, in the Temple of the Ocean King. Seven minutes is giving subathon flashbacks. That's funny. All right, next floor. B5. B5 or not B5? That is the question. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Uh, oh, choo choos. But in, oh, that's so evil in the Temple of the Ocean King. We're going to beat these guys fast or we're going to run out of time. Oh my God. That's, that is, that is evil. Okay. Well, I, luckily we beat them fast, but wow. Yeah. Timer's getting low, dude. Timer is getting low. All right. We got 15 seconds from that, uh, that pot though. So that's pretty decent. Pretty cool. All right. Next over here, another one. All right. That's fine. I'm okay with these guys. Nice. Fast. That was like five seconds. Someone use the prime. Someone use the prime. The timer's getting low. Awesome. All right, so another 15 here. So we actually kind of gamed time. Um, let's see. Is there something over this way? There is. Nice. 
And we get this, which is, what, what could you be? Hey, we got a red potion uh, for six hearts. Okay, so that's a free heal if we ever need it. And then uh, through here, I can't go that way. Okay. So down another floor. B6. Just a little farther. The clue to the ghost ship should be up ahead. Okay, this is the last, last floor here. Um, let's see if we can go here. Oh, what is this? Before you lies the second tablet governing the crest. Okay. So we have a, we have a um, uh, kind of memory sort of puzzle here. Deadpool, thanks for the gift and set. Uh, so we have a uh, memory thing here. So this is the second tablet. So uh, if I go to the map, I'll just put like a two right here. Okay. Uh, let me let me beat this guy real quick. Uh, Cause we get we got we get we get um, special uh, special things for beating these guys. Looks like so we might as well. Okay. Uh, there are four stone tablets that govern the crest. Okay. So that is not one of them, but there are four. Uh, I can't get into here unless I hit this. I love the map mechanic. The mechanics in this are phenomenal. Before you lies the fourth tablet governing the crest. Okay, so this is the fourth tablet. So this means I'll put a four right here. It's a four, I promise. Looks more like a G, but that's a four. Okay. Um, this is probably the crest. Single stroke, draw the sacred crest to reveal a new path. Okay, so we have two and four already on our on our map. So it's either one, two, three, four, or one. All right, nothing happened. Or it is one, two, three, four. No. You have to connect it. The so one, two, three, four, and then back up. Whoa! Hey, solving the puzzle with only half the knowledge. Let's go. All right, I don't want to go in there yet because I do want to defeat the uh, um, the eye. But um, yeah, that's great. That's awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right, so let's go this way. Let's go. Let's go get this eye thing. Um, should be over this way. Uh, and I'll, I'll do. I'll do the rest of it. You know. <laughs> hey, if you only put the half of the effort, you can still get the whole answer. All right, so the eye guy should uh, should spawn here soon. Cool. And you're gonna go over this way, right? Oopsies. Oh, really? Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Oh, I was so close. Oh, there's so much time loss. I mean, we already got the answer, right? But like, you know, like we, I know we already got the answer. I just want to like do the rest of the, the floor real fast. Nice. That was kind of lucky. I'll be real. Nice. Cool. 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 Oh, so we just get, wait, really? Really? The, the, so the reward for killing all the eyes is just more time. So the time I just... So the time I just spent... For you lies the cursed tablet. Upon it, it brings ruin upon all who gaze upon it. It just respawns the eyes. Okay, we should have just gone through the door is what I'm hearing. All right, let's go through the door. Okay, cool. This is, uh, this is a new place. Ooh, nice. 30 seconds. What is this? Press the sacred crest against the sea chart to transfer it. The Temple of Courage will open the holder of the sun key.
The sun key, the temple of courage, huh? I wonder what it means by pressing the C chart to the crest. I feel like I've seen this chart on the tablet before, but it's a little different. Maybe it's upside down. Let's take another look. Trace the sick. C chart to transfer it. I got this lined up, so I found the C chart. Can't draw or anything. Um What was the what was the situation? What was what, what, what did they say about this again? Press press the sacred crest against the C chart to transfer it. The Temple of Courage will open to the holder of the Sun Key. If I do this, and then you... I do this. And press it... The Sea Chart. Wait. This is going to... Okay. Either I'm going to sound so stupid... Okay, either, either, okay. I'm either going to be like, okay, cause, let, let me do it like this, right? Because this is important, okay? I'm going to either be ex so stupid or like so gigabrained. I can't do this puzzle. I don't think I can. My, where's my... Um, I'm not looking at chat. I don't want to know if it's... Uh, hey, Abby! Oh, it's over here. I found it! Because... Normally, what you would have is your Nintendo DS, right? So if you would press it against the C chart, because it's, it's overlaid like this, you do that. Now, that'd be a really cool mechanic, if that actually was it. But I can't do that on the Wii U. <laughs> Because I'm playing on a Wii U. Um, I just like... Press the home button. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So you make it sleep. Okay, that's that's how... Okay. All right. I got it. That, okay, cool. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yeah, because I was like, because I was thinking, right? So I was thinking, I was like, there's so many mechanics that this this game's been using because of the Nintendo DS, uh, of like, you know, you have the dual screen uh, sort of um, cutscenes, you have the uh, um, stylus of like where you go and everything. So I was like, all right, like l let's let's do this. I'm looking at it. It's like the overlay. I was like, how do you overlay the two? I was like trying to drag up and down. It didn't work. I was trying to like scratch it off like the first one. I was like, how do you fucking overlay it? I was like, there's two things here. But I don't have a Nintendo DS, so I have to literally, like... That's so cool! That is so cool! Yo! What a puzzle! Fuck yeah, dude! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wii U is literally like... Yeah, yeah. I'm playing on the Wii U Virtual Console. Dude, imagine, dude, imagine you, like you didn't figure that out. You'd be stuck here forever. That's such a good, dude. That's such a good puzzle. Such a good game. All right, the crest is there. Okay, it's the middle of the sea, though. Is there a key? Maybe we should go ask Linebeck what he thinks. Right. Yeah, maybe I'll just like bend the Wii U tablet. Let me like break it in half. And <laughs> that's funny. That's such a cool puzzle, though. Okay, cool. So let me save here. Um, we're going to go talk to Linebeck about that in another 
uh, stream. So I am going to head out. Um, uh, and um, yeah, I said I was going to stream for a, a lot, 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 lot longer. Uh, but I started getting a little hungry. Uh, I was like, I don't have any more food, so I got to go eat. But I will be streaming this next week on Thursday. Um, so Thursday, I will be streaming this Phantom uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass uh, next week. So a, a full week from now at 1 p.m., uh, we will be uh, continuing uh, the Phantom Hourglass playthrough. This is the last stream of the week, so I will see you guys again on Sunday. So if you haven't followed the stream yet, feel free to follow the stream so you do get notified of when I do play this game next. Uh, if you missed any part of it, it will be available on the Point Crow VOD.